All right. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> That's the official start. There it is. All right. Hello, and welcome back to Purnell of Matt Play Games. I'm Purnell. I'm Matt. And today we're here. We actually are back after a fairly lengthy hiatus, but... Did, did you watch the last episode that I put up that we recorded two years ago? Where towards the end, you know, we're like, oh, we'll, we'll make another episode sometime soon. And then I was like, oh, sometime you're like, oh, no, not, you know, I, I thought you were going to say 2021 as if that's like this ridiculous future. Did time. I actually say that? Yes, you actually said, uh, I thought you were going to say like 2021. I'm like, no, <laughs> we'll do it before then. So welcome to 2021. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> the next episode. Whoops. And um, it's funny too, because like the fire got lit. You were, yeah. you, you got back, you finished up the that 2019 episode, and then yes. a fire started to burn in Matt's heart. Yeah, and well, I mean, you know, getting vaccinated and trying to get back into the world is part of it. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's been a year and a half uh, of craziness. So, Madcap you know. Um So, like, the idea came about where we were like, hey, we need to figure out what we want to do. What would be a good idea for a new episode? And we put the feelers out to people. And one of our friends, Crispy Crisps, I won't say his actual name on the show because he might not want to hear that, but... Crispy Crips on YouTube, check him out, um, suggested that we do arcade to console comparisons. So, so I think we talked about it in the last episode about Bionic Commando. We talked about that's what it the was. arcade version was different. And I think me or you, I, don't, I forget who it was, was like, oh, we should maybe do an episode where we compare home versions of arcade, you know, arcade versions to home ports. And that's what it was. And he, he said, said that would be said, a good oh, idea. I want to see that. So that's what we're doing. We're saying it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to watch it. This is gonna be it. Uh, <laughs> so we got a we got ourselves a list of games that we have the arcade version and the home console version, basically eight bit and sixteen bit games, mostly eight bit. Um, so we're gonna pick a few. Kind of what are we gonna do? We're gonna go into the arcade version, look at that first. Oh yeah, because I feel like then, the, if anything, I'll say at least from my perspective, I'm mostly familiar with the um the home versions as right. opposed to the arcade. So the arcade ones will be the shocker. So I feel like they should be the ones that we see first. I feel like most of these, like I was in the arcade a lot <laughs> as a kid, but uh, I don't think I played most of these in the arcade. Maybe one or two, definitely one of them. But uh, yeah, so it will be, you know, aside from the testing around that I did to get it ready, I, I don't really have a lot of uh, experience with these myself. So it should be interesting. In that case, then, let's say... Get this party started and All see right. what we got here. So we took a list of games. We just kind of drafted a bunch down. There ain't no way in hell we're getting through them all tonight. No. <laughs> but that's part of the fun of biting off more than we can chew. Yes. So start with one and work our way So what, there. the plan is to, to play a little bit of the arcade version to get a feel for it, mm -hmm. right? And then play a little bit of the home port to get a feel, not play through the whole game, which would be nice, but... It's what time is it? Hey, uh, it's 10 10. We're, and we're older now. We're, <laughs> we're starting late. <laughs> this no. is post COVID. We're <laughs> like, um, yeah, no, no, that sounds good. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Even before, you know, you could see the that last half of the last episode that we recorded two years ago. I was like, yes, uh, Bionic Commando. Draining. Mm, and and that yeah. I caught a little bit of that bug myself. So, <laughs> so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and blaze through a bunch of these and see how it goes. Um, first, uh, let's start off with the menu of the system. Uh, I'm making up my music as you scroll. Uh, these are the um, arcade games that came with the Super Nintendo Classic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's start off with Bionic Commando. Do you want to try it? Yeah, because I've honestly yeah. never played the arcade I only played a little bit of it. Uh, when setting this up, but I think even as a kid, I didn't really know that there was an arcade version of this game I played a million times on the NES. At the time, I didn't even know that. Also, how do I deposit coin? Select. Okay. That would help. Ooh. Ooh, we need to turn that down a little bit. All right. Interesting. So this is already extremely different. There's no zone selection. It is yeah. literally just... There he is. Wow, that's great. <laughs> well, that's about the same. 
is me getting used to the buttons, so I see. So I think you have to push diagonal to do the diagonal. Oh my um, god! Oh wow. He took more than one shot. Oof. I'm gonna tell you yeah, right now. Is. I will uh, be doing. I will need another go at this as I try to yeah, get no my problem. bearing. You know, oddly enough, Next though, quarter. this. Oh, good point. If anything, this reminds me more of Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, it definitely. He has that run. The Arthur run. Oh. Okay. Mm. Everything hurts oh, you. Okay. Nothing's fun. Everything's <laughs> trying to kill you. Oh my god. Damn. The music is even like it's <laughs> Oh my god. There's something to be said about this. It's like a calypso or something. What uh I forget what that uh that rhythm is, but it's amazing too because I feel like I was better like I think I was already better at the NES version than this just by default <laughs> like well I mean it is a you know oh shit the branches fall off it is a uh, an arcade game an old school arcade game where they're trying to take your money yeah primarily it's to eat your quarters it definitely has that that Ghosts and Goblins look to it, though. I, I wonder if it's the same, uh, like, you know, pixel artist, or whatever you want to call it. I designer. Really, I really wish you could, like, freaking, yep. like, jump or do something. <laughs> that would defeat the purpose of Bionic Commando. He's you can't jump. Oh, he should be able to jump. Oh. Oh, I beat a stage. Okay. Stage one. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting the hang of this game. Like so. a Sonic ending. <laughs> you got the sign and the, the countdown. End of state. You got much total score. So I don't want to talk about differences from this and the NES yet because we haven't even put the NES in for this. But yeah. it's interesting Ooh. that the way this game is here, this is a... That one sounds familiar. Oh! Yeah, yeah. All right. At least that. I was like, guys, I'm on a clock here. This is an arcade. Oh, he is a hearty jerk. Maybe I'm like supposed four. to. Maybe you're supposed to grapple him. Oh, maybe. Oh, I like this version of this track. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, got a cannon. Get out of here, you schmuck! Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Not this time, jerk though. I kind of like the, the fast snare. <laughs> I Sounds love a little this. weird, but I, it's I, nice. I, like, I can't jump over the pit, but they're waiting for me. <laughs> what a jerk. Can't go off the right side? I was trying, but they were following me underneath. Uh, yeah, you're right. Ooh. Wow, this this is truly an arcade game. <laughs> and I love how they keep spawning the guns in places where there ain't no way in hell I'm going to get them. I, I, I will say, though, this is actually interesting. Ooh. Oh, crap. Searchlight. That's cool. Get your is it butter. doing anything? Is it... Oh, no, I, that's why all those guns came out. Oh, okay. Once the spotlight caught me, those guns came out. Sergeant Fatso Jetson just started waiting for me. <laughs> what a schlub. Oh, my God. So it just knocks them back, basically. The, the, uh, it doesn't just... even stun them, really. It just knocks them back. He jumped right on gravel. top of me. Yeah, it doesn't kill them, but it does. I mean, honestly, though, you need that knockback. Oh, bread. No time! That's the only <laughs> So they run faster than you can grapple, and oh, they yeah. run faster. Oh my god, the bus. It's, the... <laughs> it's a steel crate! Why is it bouncing? Get out of here, you cantaloupe. Everything's killing me! <laughs> this is 100% Ghosts and Goblins difficulty right here. Yeah, absolutely. Makes you want to I'll have to look it up later, see if it's the same person. It makes you want to meet that one guy who's like, well, I beat the tar out of this game. This game is so easy. I can beat it on like one quarter. Sure. I'm sure there's that guy that actually sure can. That's the worst part. And he's <laughs> laughing at me right now. Like, what kind of loser is this? I got to that point in Contra where I could beat it without the code on the NES, but I played it all the time as a kid. So. Yeah, but the thing is, Contra also, I feel like that's a memory. You can, you uh, yeah, can memorize that. Yeah. This... I don't think I don't think this is rope. Like I feel like every time you play, those enemies are going to spawn in a way that you can't particularly predict. Right. Gremlins. Okay, like that's it. weird. 
instead of slimes. I'm trying to. Well, I guess it was water or whatever it was, but. The funny part is, I was trying to actually get the like the swing component right, as opposed to just like grapple upwards. I, but the thing is, every time I grapple, I end up like pulling myself up. Like, no, I want to let like, go. Right. Yeah, die. There you go. There's the slime, by the way. I totally thought I just saw it. Oh no, that's a I think it's pylon. A pipe. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even grab it. Oh, that ah. is so weak. <laughs> Uh, it's a shame. Still got the short guys. Oh, I kind of like that. You can actually direct the parachute. Oh, parachute. Nice. I'm going to just point oh, this the out. Oh, gremlins are ch they're chewing off the pipes. I am going to point this out as we as I play I this and die know. multiple times. Yeah. I accept my skill levels being atrocious because this is an arcade game, and arcade games are bullshit. Yeah. Always have been. They're designed to be that way. I'll take it. Especially from this era. For oh sure. yeah, and I've never played this in my life, and especially from Capcom. <laughs> I, this is a cool concept for these gremlins, though. Yeah. Ooh. When do you my ass? Let's <laughs> can I do this. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, you can't even walk on the part that he gnaws off. Damn. Eat my ass. Okay. Here we go. I can't. There it is. Oh, wow, Ooh. he's got a hopping mech. He's hopping mech mad. All right, so... Oh, whoop, oh, oh. All right, you can try. You can get your ass handed to you for a few minutes. All right. What's the buttons here? Where's the shoot? So Where's the shoot button? Ooh, there we go. Just to describe how you get... I mean, there's basically two buttons. You have the gun button the and the button. grapple button. Yep. Grappling allows you to grapple forward or diagonally. Oh. And then you pull yourself over and either swing or pull yourself up. <laughs> but all of your motions are extremely sluggish. But the enemies are not sluggish at all. Like that guy's going to jump and hit you. Yeah, yep, it sure is. <laughs> and even though I told you, you didn't have enough time to uh, react anyway. I knew he anyway. was going to do it too. And I, yeah, there's nothing I could do. Oh, drugs. Brad Spencer. So red or right. after all, fell. Whoa, that was weird. Give me a break. <laughs> the platform went out from under you. I do like Yikes. this music though. Yeah, it's not bad. So I don't think there's. I don't think there's a home version equivalent of this one. Though. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you really can't let go on the swing, can you? Like I, nope. I, I got a, I yeah. got to swing one time and then I died immediately. So I didn't get to feel. I didn't get to celebrate it. I would not be surprised if you can only hit that guy if you shoot him in the cockpit. Oh, probably. Oh Ooh. wow, a max suit. Oh. And of course, it's also <laughs> trying to kill you because everything in this game is trying to kill you. Oh, okay. you did blow it up. So to shoot him enough. All right, foot up. Foot down. Ah, that's right. And the fist is working too. This is like oh. janky robot suit is like just sitting still. Like, Love it. Swing the arm. Stomp my single foot. Why not just walk around? Nah, ah, that takes too much work. Ah. <laughs> All right, so what am I supposed to do there? I have to be able to swing, I think right? You have to get the swing right. It's that straightforward. Like Ooh. one level down. Like you go oh one level God. down. Go left down. Yeah, fall okay. down. You have to swing, you swing across there. there. So I just oh there you it nailed is. it ooh I did it I just had to think about it real hard. So was it you had to press it to let go or just I I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I did. Am I gonna get a weapon? Do nope. I have to shoot it? Nope. Oh. Nope. Either you're gonna die or it's gonna miss you. You have to touch it as it's going down. Which means you'll never get a weapon, literally. Yep. <sighs> yeah, that's right. This is so ridiculously different from what Bonnet Commando is. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> like, is there the grapple is there, kind of? They, I guess, they improved on the grapple since I can. Oh, they improved immensely on the grapple. Oh, look, there's the gun. I got it. What does it do? So you better shoot it before Ooh. you die and lose it. I saw what it does. Ooh, oh, right. it pierces. All right. Oh, so, what was the story yeah. of Body Commando? Like, it was like there was the original Commando guy, and. 
he was captured by the Nazis. Yes. And Rad Spencer is like his is basically like the replacement. Something like that. Or his protege or his protege or something. But unlike Commando, he actually gets a grappling. <laughs> right, something like that. Oh, he can't even grab on to the blue stuff. Nope. That's all scenery. You yeah, gotta you swing across really... the lower level. Okay. That's right. you can maybe you'll grab the wall Ooh. and pull yourself to it. Mm, maybe. Hmm, let's try that. Nope. Well not that. Up on the, the one level up. Like all the way to the top. Oh, I see. And then grapple to the that's right. right. Nope. Ah, uh, that's just hot hood. No, book. sir. Well, just gotta swing across that pit then, that's all. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know what you got I lieutenants. Do. Oh, yeah. I love he's got a pipe in his mouth. Because that makes sense. Forget. He doesn't give me anything? Huh. Gives you a smile. They were the boss. Okay. You can tell because he's got those cool clothes. Well. That is certainly different from the. Uh, yeah, I'm already good with ditching from the this NES. At this point. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm done too. What is track? <laughs> Wait! Whoa! 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 Hello? Do you not, please tell me you recognize this track? <laughs> well, not this part, but the earlier part. Was that a Mega Man? Yes, hundred percent. This this is the same track from the NES. Bionic Commando, but it does sound definitely similar. Do, 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 it was the Metal Man track. Yes, yeah. It's definitely similar. Looks, Mega Man 2. You don't want the breath. That is the best on. Mega Man. That is, you are, you are crunk as shit. <laughs> Ain't no best Mega Man. I'll say it to the day I die. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the old folks' home. Mega Man 3 is the better game. <laughs> sure, Grandpa. Sure it is. I recognize that it's a better game, <laughs> but I don't like it as much. <laughs> Um, do we want to show any of the Since home this, version of Bionic Commando? We should, because even though we did you it on the last I episode. I have the Game Boy version uh, on here. So we can maybe show that. Are you talking or, about the original or Elite Forces? Both. Which one do you want to see? Well, I already played Elite Forces, uh, but that's the one I think is like the most widely different, which might make it interesting You know, I to played see. a little bit of the beginning of, uh, like, here's Bionic Commando, and then there's... Uh, a bunch of this stuff. Elite Forces, which is a Game Boy Color game. Yeah, I, that the was, animation was impressive. And put and, that uh, on because because if you want to see the original original Bond of Commando, that was played as an excite and basically as like what triggered us to do this in the first place. You can always check the last episode out for that. Right. But yes, I feel yeah. like this is still worth showing because while it's not a direct port, this was like them saying we can make a better game if you squint. You it, can tell what <laughs> what's in that picture. Oh, yeah, this is... It probably just, looked real good on a you know, little Game Boy Color screen. Oh, it's, it was a great game. Oh, yeah, you got the map, game. you got the communicators and the so, communication and all that stuff. Verbalizing it, this is similar to the original Bonnet Commando on NES in right. that there's like a full map. You yeah. You traverse the different locations. This, though, is a little different because I don't recall them giving you mission updates on the NES version as Albatross you enter levels. Project. Mm -hmm. No. Maybe the beginning, very beginning of the game, they give you a little bit of something, but... Attack is when you land, you choose your gun, and there's, your decoder. There's voice clips and everything. Now, the thing about this game that was a pain in the butt, however, is that it's a Game Boy game. Which means yes. Game Boy had a really tiny screen. Body Commando is not really made as a game that that does not require a lot. You need you a need large field of vision. See. Yeah. Well, so it's kind of like Metroid 2, where you feel like you should be able to see further. Yes like, and no. Although that's kind of like in caves and stuff. So it's like yeah, I was about to say, because here's the, the difference, though. The you know, view Met works Met for it. Well, the thing is, like, Metroid 2, yeah, it'd be nice to have a better field of vision. Yes. Yeah. But Metroid 2 doesn't have pitfalls where you will die. And... I don't know. Like, Probably not. Oh, well, I remember I played the hell out of the game. Like, okay. surprisingly, right. no pits. I only played through it, like, once. But this game has a lot of pits. Ah. And what they end up doing... Let me see you. Oh, Come you can on. save at the... Uh, oh, at the communication things. From another body commando. So that guy, you could have chosen him at the beginning of the game. Yeah. And I guess at that point, then the, the female body commando will be talking to the male body commando mm -hmm. and vice versa. 
But since you're working together, it's like, hey, they're both in the game. I thought the character animation was uh, pretty impressive. Oh, this was a cool thing, by the way. If it gets to, if I find it. So. Oh, sniper. Yeah, it switches to like a weird, like, shooting gallery. Also, notice how fast you move. Yeah. That, to me, is the best part. This is a snappy game. Especially for as as smooth as that animation is, it's not it's not bogging down the action. It doesn't seem like. Kind of has like a almost a um, uh, a Shantae kind of feel to the the movement. Look how it's easy so that smooth, swing was. But it's like still fast. Look at that! You can grab yep. things with your hook. <laughs> Innovation in gaming. <laughs> That's definitely better than the arcade. I'll, I'll definitely give you that. Now, keep in mind, a lot of stuff that's happening here, you could do on the NES version of this. Woo! Are you supposed to aim that at the barrels or something? No, I think you're supposed to ultimately blow this up. Oh, I see. Okay, how about... Oh, bull spit. Took all my hits. Yep. Let's get snippy. So that's just the weak point? Mm-hmm. Contra style? That's right. Shoot the core. That's got grass grotties. Mm. But you get the point. What if I can do it from here? I was like... You really think they'll let you do this? <laughs> let you shoot it off screen? I wish. The Game Boy Color game? Sure would be nice if they did, but this will nice. do. Ah, this thing is just not cutting it. Hey, there we go. All right. I didn't even find the sniper point. Look at that. Listen to that. <laughs> Some of that might be the emulation. I don't know, but. So now I have that new. No, you see. Okay, we're moving around. So now you can move. <laughs> Hopefully, we can come across one of these trucks before. It's dead now. It's force yeah. it. So. so a top down commando style. Yes, right. Nice. Oh, yeah. And this is how nice. the grappling hook works. Classic. It's basically more for stunning people, though. Oof. A little tougher. Oh, yeah, because of the screen thing. Look at that True, gun. Yeah. If I didn't know that gun was there, yep. you'll, you'll see it just as a shooting. Ooh. Look at that, that guy did. Damn. Ah, Extra life. There you go. I also like the music in this game. I actually still listen to this music at some times. I'm almost positive I played that yeah. the last level's track on the show before, even. Oh, like, the, uh, the podcast? Mm hmm. Yeah. You might be right. I, but the funny thing is, I remember how I ended up getting, my, ended up getting into this game, too. Like, uh, years ago, I used to work at KB Toys. And uh, one night they were like, hey, can you stay? We need somebody to stay around after closing because we have an electrician coming in and do some work on the breaker box. Okay. And I'm like, okay, how long will I be stuck here waiting? And he's like, we don't know, but it could be pretty late. Like, we're talking late, late. Ooh. See what I mean? Like, yep, you couldn't right. plan that. Nope. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll hang around and see. And yeah. store closed at 9 o'clock. Yeah. I'm still there. It's like midnight, still waiting. The guy didn't show up till like 3 a.m. Oh, boy. I got to the, I was so bored. I was like, you know what, screw it. I just went to the cabinet, took the game <laughs> off the shelf, opened it. It's like, you know what? This yep. is my payment. Absolutely. <laughs> for sitting here for hours without pay. Yeah, right. Waiting for this jerk to show up. And I pretty much just started playing it on the store floor. <laughs> I was like, there you go. Buy the commando. Merry Christmas to me. But, like, it was ridiculous. Like, how this ended up playing out. How, how long did he end up taking to... It took about an hour. Okay. So I got out at, like, 4 a.m. Still. And then eventually it was like, okay, next time I get paid, I got to settle up with the game or something. But just the fact that I was like... Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to open it. I'm just going to play it. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. But I, right. just, I set it up later, but I didn't set up for a good two weeks or so. Yeah. And I was like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think that's uh, <laughs> I think that's reasonable. It's such a good game. But then, good. But there are also like, just dumb annoyances. But those are the normal Bind of Commando, too, where like the barrel's sitting right there blocking you. It's one pixel high. Yeah. You're like, well, I got to swing over it. If that was the original body command, it would have knocked you back. Yeah. And it would have been BS. Don't fall. Because I'm almost positive you would die I if you fell there. Said. 
Ooh. Note how Sorry. you somehow got shot, lost all your health, and you didn't die. You just got yeah, imprisoned somehow. Up. You lived. Well, that's pretty cool. But I think... Uh, if you say the arcade version was better, I'll call you a liar. No. Just make kidding me? About to say. No, the arcade version is kind of rough. <laughs> I gotta and say. that is compared to the Game Boy Color game. Even. Yeah, yeah. It, even this was a lot more fun. <laughs> I feel like if we did buy on a Commando, I think we should go right into Commando. Oh, yeah, the arcade Commando is something I've never really got a chance to play. But it is uh, odd just how arcade. different those two games are. Like, you had... It, they took it... And I think we're going to notice that with more in the, more of the NES converse than anything. But, like, how it was just like a stage-by-stage -stage platformer, essentially. What, the... The Bonnet Bonnet Commando, Commando yeah. Arcade, yeah. And then they turned into this whole map traversal, decoder yeah. breakthrough... One of the, the things I watched a lot of over quarantine, <laughs> over the pandemic, was, uh, I'm trying to remember, it's NES Works on YouTube. Uh, Jeremy Parrish did this whole series, and he, was, he went through everything that was released for the NES from the time it was launched in Japan, okay. and then the time you know, it was launched in America, and he reviews every game as they were released in the context of all the other games that are out in the time, mm -hmm. and... Uh, you know, what else is going on in video games at the time. It's really fascinating. But he talks about games like Commando and like Bionic Commando, Trojan, stuff like that, where in the arcade, it's like a simple, just like quarter muncher kind of thing. But then when they bring it to the home market, um, especially Capcom would uh, assign some other people to flesh it out because they know that people are going to be spending a lot more time on this one game and they're not going to, you know, like, back then you could return it if you didn't like it. Oh, that's so, true. They wanted it to be something they you want, want to keep at home. Right. So they added more depth to a lot of these games purposely just to keep it, you know, like... I guess there's also the element, too, that, like, if you're at home playing it, you're not really limited by quarters. Exactly. You're going to spend a lot of time on the one thing instead of, you know, Mommy, mommy, minutes, I need another quarter. You're out of it. You'll get to try right. a game for a week. So I think Commando is largely the same... But I think there's like a lot of secrets in the home version, like secret underground, you know, things and uh, yeah. that you can find. Because um, I honestly assume I, I didn't assume... really play either of them too much myself. So I played a lot of the original Commando back in the day. Never played the arcade one though. Here, well, now you can. Data oh, is. We both, we both can. Oh, it's a, it's two a two player, player game. game. <laughs> All right. Uh. Let's just ignore the uh, in violation of copyright law, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Uh, all right, so let me try and start. Hit oh, there that. it is. All right, there you go. Looks you like we're sharing grenades start. in lives, though, so don't die. I'll put in another quarter. <laughs> oh, do Wait. we trade off? I think we do. It's not simultaneous? No. Oh. That makes sense though, because that's yeah, a lot of games like that where like they're back there. It's like you know you got to. How it goes? Well, I died already. Where are you? Make it to find oh, out how good you are. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe you'll die even faster than me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's entirely possible. So literally, you have the gun and the grenade button. That is it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was starting to eat grapes and everything. <laughs> you have a chance. Put your grapes down. <laughs> it's time to die. We need a hero. <laughs> okay, first thing that's driving nuts is just like the idea of being like, okay, I'm just slightly off angle fighting this guy. Which yeah. means that now I have to run and circle around to get the aim just right. Ooh. No! I'm coming, you! Oh, oh, I love oh, how. Oh. Gotta get them <laughs> both. Yeah, this is not our best showing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. The secret is to fire wildly. Ah, I got you. We take it's funny how much we take for granted too, because like, if this game were made today, yeah, you'd be able to do a full circle spin. Like yeah. I want to fire the shots. It would be a twin stick shooter. Yep, and it would be freaking cake by comparison. Cause I can just like aim left, right, up, down, diagonal left, diagonal yeah. right, slightly yep. off kilter, diagonal left. Although, you know, we're playing with a D-pad here. I bet if we had, like, an actual joystick. No, even the joystick. Yeah. Even though you could turn it, you couldn't... I don't believe you could actually just, like, 
aim in the middle of the you couldn't like aim between here and here. You can either oh, aim sure. here yeah. or here, but you need to aim in here. Yeah, yeah. Something that modern day twin stick shooters try one more time. Try one more time. That's something that modern day twin stick shooters can do. Yeah. Which makes them, in my opinion, leaps and bounds easier. Especially when yeah. the game offers a flamethrower, you're just like spraying the flame every damn where. Jesus crap on a stick. <laughs> I was wondering if you're going to get past those guys. I was not. <laughs> All right. I, I feel like I got to do so. I got to at least get past the first damn stage we're playing this. All right. 12 hours later. Because look at it. It's like they're coming for you. You're like, I have to adjust my body to eventually walk past them. Yeah. Oh, shit. I do like that there's no timer in this game, unlike yes. the other ones, though. You can save them. Oh, cool. They always go left. All right. So the trick is just to I approach that from the left, and you're good. Ah. There you <laughs> just go. Just run. You can do it. Don't just get stuck on that rock. Some... Don't fill up on rocks. <laughs> but they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> right, the stake. Right, here we go. Now, you got past the bridge. Which is, I got to get past I the did. bridge. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Let me put my team back down. <laughs> I hate you shit file. I pushed the grenade Ooh, button, all right? Oh, Good. Yeah, there you go. Hubris. All right. Now, how about I let you get... I'll give you time to sip, you asshole. <laughs> God damn it. All right, come here. Come on, Commando Joe Ken, whatever your name is. <laughs> Fuck the box. Super Joe. He ain't very right. super, is he? He getting you know, was gonna no, blow by a damn not. grenade. He's not very super at all. <laughs> super Joe. Adequate is Joe. Not as advertised. He is very adequate Ooh. Joe. All right, here we go. Here we go. Screw all you bastards. I'm coming for you. There you go. Eat that. Nope. I got my ass. <laughs> you missed. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got to the stage, mm, though. Almost. Ooh. I'm ashamed. No dice. <laughs> yeah, give it the ball. Mm. That's right. Z's. All right. See if you can get past right, that one see, rock. Oh, I oh, God. <laughs> Shoot him. I almost ate it right away. Shoot him. Oh, Good. Fuck. I was up there. A <laughs> little further up. You shoot him. You shoot him dead. The sad part is you have a higher oh. score because you have to pick up the bricks, though. Uh. Well, we're not playing for bricks. We're playing for progress. Uh -huh. Bricks. <laughs> Damn it. I'm getting those bricks. Shoot him. Oh, fuck. Didn't make it. That's nope. what I wanted to hear. Just slightly further back. You can do one more time if you want. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Turns out I don't. <laughs> this game is not for me. Hey, I got fifth. I, I think it, about it this. It pushed like, the other triple Z off, there, the, off the bottom. There is something so weird feeling about this. How like we always like we th I, when you think about the the arcade era of games. Yeah. We all idolize. We all talk about you know arcades were so awesome. They were yeah. fantastic places. But when does our arcade this personal arcade nostalgia actually start? And I'd say that meaning that. When do you, what is the part that you, what is the earliest thing that you finally remember in the arcade? Well, um, I very distinctly remember Dragon's Lair, the first Dragon's Lair, and being blown away by, it's like a, it's a cartoon that you can control? And like, you know, having it sit next to like, you know, Robotron and like Pac-Man and stuff, it was like, what? Look at this! Um, so I remember that when it was new in the arcade, like being at Ocean, you know, like on the Ocean City boardwalk and seeing it in the arcade on the boardwalk. Um, there must have been games I played before then too. That I, because it was uh, there were other games I had in my mind that I could compare to Dragon's Lair and it being such a leap forward visually. Now the game itself sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love it, but it's it's you know it's like just memorizing Simon basically but uh that's the first thing I really remember 
uh, like I, I played a lot of arcade games, but it's like I'll tell it's you, probably the earliest thing I can remember. So I gotta tell yeah. you, like for me, like while I do remember like playing like certain games, like I've I've played the Cubert, yeah, like normal basic Pac-Man. My actual like fond arcade memories, as in the ones where I was like, man, remember that thing we used to do in the arcade? It's very straightforward being. Street Fighter 2 when that first hit and became popular. Because that's okay. what that's the game that everybody wanted to play. Yep. And everybody had their favorite character. We were in like middle school or you know, no, we were no. high school, weren't we? We were like I guess we were in middle school. We had 92. Yeah. Um or maybe 91 in the arcade release. I don't remember. I know the arcade I know I the whole version was 92. Of, I played a lot of championship edition, so whenever that was out. Because like I used to pick Chun Li because I was like, well, it's the girl character. This was we were kids. Yeah. I was like, it's the girl character, so if I lose I can say I lost because I picked the girl, uh -huh. but if I win, I'm just better than you. Uh -huh. And believe it or not, even though my mentality changed, I still just pick female characters and fighters. But, like, I remember that distinctly. I remember Round Robin on the Turtles arcade game and the Simpsons mm -hmm. arcade game. Yep. And yeah, while I that. do have memories of playing, like, Ms. Pac-Man and, like, Galaga and a couple games like that, I feel like I those... Tempest. I remember uh, the 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 snack you know shed at uh, the at the pool that we used to go to as a kid that had Tempest. That Can was... you imagine how just ridiculous that was? By the way, that they, our your pool had arcade machines accessible by kids yes. who did not to dry their asses off. Yeah, like yep. just like splash <laughs> over the machine, shorten them out. It lasted long enough. <laughs> There's a lot of games I used to play in. Um, there was a pizza place. Uh, just a couple like doors down from my elementary school um, and they would switch out their games every once in a while. I played Gauntlet and Gauntlet 2. They had those in there. Me and a couple friends would go in and and uh, gather around the Gauntlet 2 and yell and scream until the, the pizza guys got really mad and <laughs> <I'll tell you laughs> made us leave. But I'll tell you another weird thing I, I think back on when it comes to arcade games. So we used to have a movie theater. That's where I used to see our saw the Ninja Turtles movie where I saw... All the Nightmare on Elm Streets, all that stuff. It was like our most, for me anyway, it was like the popular theater. Yeah. And just outside that theater, there was a bar. Like, and that's why I know it was a different time, a different era. Because this was in a mall. The mall <laughs> inside had a bar. Okay. And in that bar was arcade machines. This is where we played Simpsons. This is where we played the Turtles at. Yeah. This is where we played a version of Street Fighter 2. Cigarette smoke everywhere people mm -hmm. drinking smoking you got these 10 year olds 11 year olds oh mommy i did a quarter for digital turtles mm -hmm. we're all just there playing choking on everybody's cigarette smoke <laughs> we just we just yeah. dealt with it and i even as a kid i hated cigarettes my parents yeah, smoked i couldn't stand the crap but when it came down for arcades i endured Definitely. that mess yep you endured it because yep. you wanted to get your game on and this <laughs> is where the simpsons you was could, located you could see the, the monitor in front of you, you were fine. You were fine. Oh, you did X-Men there, too. That's why I also oh, nice. play X-Men for the first time. Nice. But, like, it was a great arcade. It just happened to also be a bar in a mall. Uh, I think that may well be the only bar I've ever seen inside of a mall. Yeah, I can't think of one. Uh, although, you know, as a kid, maybe there were some in, like, Granite Run or Springfield Mall. But that, just didn't, just didn't click know, at I the time. You're like, whatever, yeah. there's no arcade machine. That's not, that's not Aladdin's Castle. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some tokens. Let's go. <laughs> but I just miss all that kind of stuff. No. Just like oh. the idea of being like playing. Cause this happened with the Simpsons for sure. Playing the Simpsons arcade <laughs> game. Starting from the first stage. And we're all playing up through here and there. And there was two points in the game where I ran out of money. And had to go to my mom. Like asking to run out of the arcade. Yeah. Find her in the mall. Say, Mom, I need a quarter. We're, we're playing. He's giving when I run back. And by that point, they, they played an entire stage while I was going. Yep. So it's like a disjointed experience. It's like, what levels were between Springfield Butte and Dreamland? <laughs> Suddenly there's clowns? <clears throat> I don't understand. What happened? <laughs> and the thing that, the, but the thing about that one that threw me off the most was the second transition I had was dying at the, like, pretty much at the bowling bowl boss of Dreamland. Yeah. Leaving coming back and you were fighting ninjas in a shogun <laughs> yeah. keep in mind i didn't see the name of the stage i didn't uh, know yeah. what was going on so i'm like why are you fighting ninjas <laughs> in a simpsons game turns out that's just channel six news station right so you're going through a bunch of different tv shows but if you walked away from the game and came back that is a very jarring yes. transition yeah 
Even though I just Although, bought a giant sense. bowling ball. Like, right, yeah, this is the Simpsons game. It's going to be weird, uh, especially back then. But, like, that feeling of just, like, wanting to be a part of the team. Yes. But unlike in the present day, to an extent, the thing that can prevent you from doing that is not having enough money. Right, <laughs> like yeah. You were barred from entry because yep. you were poorer than the other kids. I'm out. I got to go. I'm tapped. Well, mom gave me a bucks. 30 she gave me right. 30 bucks. I'm not leaving. Right. Can, can, I, can, you, can you just give me one? To sit? No. Of course, it later it turned no. out that she just wanted him out of the house so she could hang out at home because right. he was a loud mouth. But <laughs> he didn't care because he had $30 at the arcade. Yep. So what are you yeah, going to do? I used to play The Simpsons at the, the putt-putt that is now around the corner from my house. And it's still, I think that is the only arcade machine that is still there from when I was a kid. They still have They the kept it? They still have, last time I was there with my kids... They still have a Simpsons machine there, and it is it's not your score. It is, it is no, of course, <laughs> of course not. But it is. It is. Uh, they had holes. It's it not looking good. You know, it's old and it's it's half broken, but it still worked. And I played some Simpsons with my kids. It was great. <laughs> it's a good feeling to be able to be like this. Yeah, this is where your old man. Took, this is where your old man beat all the kids. Like I got ten dollars from delivering papers or whatever for a couple weeks. I'm gonna play through the Simpsons with you know me and my friends, and uh, it's great. And then the best thing about it, when you I, I had this conversation in general, but it's interesting that we'll bring it up on a, a show about arcade games, is that yeah. we really laid on the table, a large amount of those games that we loved were pretty much, if you took the template off of them, they were the same game. It was literally, yeah. you had... Like Turtles and, and Simpsons and all the Konami yeah. side scrolls yes. and beat em ups Absolutely. Attack yeah. button, a jump button. Mm -hmm. You can jump and attack while you're in the air. And yep. you had to move that exhausted health. Yep. And right. that was yeah. the game. And you beat the things until they flash faster and faster. And then, you, then you, you know, maybe put it in two more dollars and you finally beat the level. Yep. Because yeah. if they because they wanted that jerk thing with the dip switch, then enemies had like those invincible where they just like smack you across the screen. Yep. But like... It just blows my mind to think about that. Like, they were all the same game. They just looked different. But they were all entertaining. It oh, was, it was, for it sure. It was a great formula. And I, I would still play them back. to this day. Oh, that, that they kind of are. That new, that new Ninja Turtles game is coming out soon. But here's that the thing. Great. But here's what's weird. I like playing old games. Yeah. Did it. But when new games come out, I want more. Like, yeah. the closest I've gotten to a game that was old ish but i was cool with there was paprium um and then fight and rage which is a game i talk about all the friggin time which was like a side scroll to beat him up but then the game the way that game was different from a lot of old games it was just like the sheer volume of enemies that would hit you on the screen and it was how yeah. how phonetic and fra fast it was yeah it is a cool game but like scott but, pilgrim uh, scott oh, no 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 count that because no. scott pilgrim was more akin to like river city ransom, river city ransom which wasn't yeah, an arcade sure. game yep. so that was like that had like all elements to it like yeah. the stores and stuff but like that general boilerplate template of beat em up which is an attack button a jump button you're special that general style of beat em up i was gonna say river city girls but again that's river city, ransom. river city ransom it has more depth to it than just the Streets Go of Rage from left 4. to right, beat things up. Streets of Rage 4 would be a close comparison yes. because Streets yeah. of Rage, the original Streets of Rage games, just like Final Fight, which was yep. an arcade game, was meant to be like Sega's answer to Final Fight. Right. And when you play that game, if, even though it's a console-specific game, it followed the template. Attack, jump, jump kick, special. special but, but then yeah. later on, they added the very... That was the first game that did the variation is two specials where you had mm. the standing special and the forward special. Right. Streets of Rage 2 is the first one to do that. And then after that, other games started doing it as well. And I can actually sit and play through some of those. I, I've, I've, played, I've played all the Streets of Rage games. I just never really sat and played through. Maybe I did like the first one or something. Oh, yeah. Cause through like, to the end. In fact, thinking back. I have four as well. Four is really good, but I just, I've only played like half of it. And then they did eventually start adding things like the grab moves. Like, like, like for example, like yeah. The Simpsons like, didn't have it. And the Turtles didn't have it. But Final Fight did. And Streets of Rage, in turn, did. With the Turtles, you could, like, flip them over your, you know, I don't know. It's not really a good But it's not quite yeah. the same, because, like, that no, was just, like, it's, like, either you throw them or you just melee them. Yeah. But, like, 
I'm talking like you can like knead them in the groin yes. and like backdrop them. Double dragon style. Exactly. Yeah. Like that whole flow. And that was a part of what made, gave you a little bit of options for strategies. Like, okay, yeah. I can I can do more damage by holding this guy, but holding a guy makes me vulnerable to his friends. Right. So I got to play it cool. <laughs> like a cucumber, you know, that's what they say mm -hmm. in the streets back then. Like, but it was... Oh, that's what they, said? Huh? <laughs> that's what they, said? <laughs> they totally did. Oh, okay. They're cucumber kids. <laughs> they all said that kind of mess. But like, yeah, I... I, I it's funny how I took this on a real like tangent, but I think that is what I most liked about the arcade era in and of itself. Even just like being able to have those discussions about what the games yeah. were like, you know, the similarities, the differences, the arcade culture, putting your coin on top of the machine and say, I'm next. Yep. And I know that's my quarter yep. because I said it was. <laughs> There's really nothing that says that's no one my fights quarter. Over no it one fights. Because, yeah. Quarters are all the same, and no one ever commented on the year the coin was minted. Right. All you saw was a quarter, and you just told people it was yours. Yep. Deep down, it was the if, dumbest if idea. Fight, if someone does fight over it, everyone's like, whoa, what are you doing? And <laughs> you on. On table. it really was a stupid system, but we did it. Yeah. And it worked. It was a system, and it worked. Uh, and it was a universal system. If you go, like, to California, they did the same thing. Put their quarter on the machine. Yep. Whose quarter? Jim says it's right. his quarter, so. He's got next. I'm going to assume it's Jim's. Right. Are you going to tell Jim that's not his quarter? I ain't trying to tell Jim anything. <laughs> right. You see those arms? He's got guns. <laughs> like, screw that. Jim's the man. Yep. Um, but, yeah, like I, that whole culture set. And it's amazing yeah. because, and presently, I, I, even though we do have, like, fun centers, we have the round mm. ones, the Dave and Busters, it's a in the beaches, event that you have to plan to go out there, and yeah, it's it's a whole thing. And even for like the the families who like take their kids to those places, that environment is not what we had. No. That environment is not '90s arcades, '80s arcades, and hell, even early 2000s arcades in Japan. Like mm, yeah. that environment is gone and never coming back. So it is purely a world of nostalgia that we can ramble about and tell people <laughs> about. Yep. Because it's a oh, bygone era. It, it really is. But that's like the one that's one of the, that's mm -hmm. one of the rare examples of when I was a kid that I love. Like I yeah. I'm proud to be like when I was a kid, I had to do this joke. It's like when you talk about going to rent games at the machine at the um, at the riddle stores. Like oh, yeah. I loved that era because it brought with it something that instant gaming can't. Right. Which it's hard to believe because when we were kids then, we wanted what they've got now or right. what we got now. But right. I look fondly on the thing that I used to not want anymore. It's, right. Weird. It was a whole different feeling. Yeah. I tried to explain it to my kids. Like, we used to have to wait until Friday, and then you could rent one thing, and you had to try and get there as quick as you could because the new thing was going to be, so, you know, rented out. And if you could get there in time, then you could get Mortal Kombat 2 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And But if you didn't get there in time, then you had to find something else. But then something when, sometimes when you find that something else, it's just like, oh, this kind of, the box kind of looks cool. I'll try that. And it ends up being a great game. It ends up being ActRaiser. Yes. It ends up being an F-Zero or something that you're like, whoa. And heaven forbid you played this. Heaven forbid you're in RPGs because that brought with its own right. couple worms. Like, well, you only get it for three days. The game is yeah. 40 hours. Right. You got to return this game or get mom and dad to re-rent it. Rent it again. And, and if they didn't re-rent, if they didn't rent it for you again, you had to go back the next week or two weeks and hope yes, you got hope the exact same there. cart with the same save. Yep. It sucked. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, that part I still remember fondly despite hating it. Yeah. It's yeah. just a weird man. It's a different thing. Is this going to be the part that gets held on the chopping room floor? Like, no, <laughs> no, no. I think this, this is good. This is a good conversation, I think. I mean, we're going to move on to Commando, but uh, I think that's relevant to what we're what we're doing here. Oh, today, yeah. So. I just think Not that we would, you know, like I would talk, oh, this isn't relevant to our topic today. Fuck Who's this! Shit? <laughs> like, you know, like, Here's Pardell's segment of if you, Ramble if, Nations. Right, if you've seen this show, you know it's going to go on for two hours and we're going to talk about <laughs> bullshit for <laughs> half of it. <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. So, uh, you know, strap in. <laughs> Here we go again. Sales of the 80s. Right. <laughs> the so, grease on yeah. the controller. But Commando is definitely one that I never played in the arcade. And I don't think I really even rented it on the NES. I think I had a friend who played it, who had it on the NES. My friend, how it was for me, a friend down the street uh, used to have it, so I used to go to the house and play it. Yeah, I played it a, a little. Oops. Maybe once. Select. Select start. Oh, we're doing two you players. Here. All right, so. Do two players again. So what we can see, at least here, is that it starts exactly the same as far as, like, even though it's an NES game, visually, 
it starts the same. Whoa, that's a terrible how's, how's the movement? Is it a little bit better? I won't lie. It is. A little less squishy and... and like, like I, I, don't, I don't know. Think of it like this. I'm not yeah. dead yet. True. I am stuck on a tree, stuck though, tree. so that part killed me. <laughs> but that was the tree getting stuck, not right. me sucking. Oh, Difference. Man. I gotta take a look at this. Uh, what emulator I'm running this That's on. NES. Hmm. I don't think it's supposed You'll to You'll notice when you play too, like, the control feels easier. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was afraid it was the, uh, that it was, like, lag in, in the, the capture thing or whatever, but... I totally meant no. to throw a grenade at that guy and just didn't even think about it. Do, 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 Unlike do, me, do, do, you can get stuck in the tree, so the sky's the limit. <laughs> You can even go into the grass. Uh, you can actually see the bullets, so that's a, that's a plus. <laughs> the bullets aren't just one white pixel. I will say this though, what? having never played this in the arcade, it's nice to get those Gosh, those Tetris yeah. pieces are actually gold blocks in the arcade. Yeah. <laughs> they like gold tetra bars or whatever. There's like tetrominoes on this. Yeah. I, I wonder if you, I think you can go in that water too, but don't try because you're. I feel like this game, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it, but I, well, that's, that's as he jumps I aside. I really, I really did think you'd get in the water. I wasn't there's, trying there's to get like you killed. There's like secret stuff in like every level on this, apparently on the NES version. Oh, there's definitely a hole. Like there's like there's underground tunnels. Yeah, it's nice that you can't shoot your friend. Yeah, because I would have totally Ooh. wrecked him by now yep. if I could. I almost got rocked. Whoa, baby. That's Super right. Super Joe, what are you doing? You're shooting me. Shoot the Nazis, goddammit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm on fire, baby. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> ah, rant. Jesus, Joe, what the <laughs> fuck? What <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get, I can't stop once I start spraying it. I just I gotta spray it. <laughs> I'm gonna move up and just just stay right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll slowly move my gun to the left, I'll get those guys. Don't worry. I gotta tell you already, despite even though this doesn't look as good visually as the arcade oh, game, this plays so much it's better. It's so much more it's more fun. Even though I'm dying. Not just from following bad bad advice and <laughs> go to the water, get a take a dip. I'm sure Super Joe would love to take a swim. Go suck your head. <laughs> Super Joe. Boy, that guy just didn't die. I guess they make you <laughs> grenade him. He just looked at you. It was like... Oh, wow. That guy. There we go. Get out. Oh, there you go. I'm a hero saving all the dudes. Take that grenading asshole. Don't get shot. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, Look at that. What am I looking at? No. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 oh, I took a bullet. See all that oh, anger? All, right. <laughs> all that rage. Uh-huh. I honestly feel like... The thing is, I, I, I'm almost positive as a kid, I kicked the tar out of this game, too. Yeah. And I feel slightly val... I still feel slightly like I can agree with that point because I feel like I got pretty far on this for having not played it in like oh, 35 years, Ooh. 30 years. Yeah. Not, not 35 years, but this is at least 30 years since I've played this. I played a lot of 1942, 43, whatever that one is on the NES. Um, oh, that's like a whole trail of dudes. Oh, hey. It's the guy from Bionic Commando that you got to continue from. The thing is, I feel like you have to actually get in there. Right. Get past the stream of bad guys. Mm-hmm. I'm inclined to say I'll try one more time. Okay. God, I feel like now, this time with zest and vinegar. Liver and onions. I mean, if you go back and look at 1942 on the NES now, it's like, Jesus, how could you even play this? It's like, you know, like, parts of it don't work right, and the music's just like... We've come a long yeah, way It's real bad. Um, and, like, the, the the arcade version's pretty good. You did it! But back then... Oh, Boom, no, you gotta kill him. Uh, back then, it was like, yeah, this is pretty good. You, know, you win this you game. You didn't know any better. But that's what the second version, will, the first, second play will be. Broke the first area. <laughs> just smash it all on the floor. Broke it. But no rescue bonus. Let them all die, Matt! <laughs> At least I wasn't shooting, the, shooting them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Joe, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
No, uh, you'll be fine. You'll be I've, fine. I've, been, I've, been, I've been drinking. Oh, in the trenches. Oh, you have to like... They keep their grenade, grenade required. I will say, in both games, I hate that damn grenade arc. <laughs> both games, I hate the grenade yeah, arc. Yeah, it, it goes too far. Oh, well... It'd be nice if... Right, I will say... One more time? Mm -hmm. Okay. It would be nice if you could say, like... If yeah. you could, like, say, like, tap the grenade button, and depending on how long you held mm -hmm. it, that determined how far it went. Yeah. Right, let's see like what... a Mario jump. Exactly. That would be something I would be, I'd be all about. Well, that's why Super Mario was uh, revolutionary for its time. The physics and all that. I don't know. Did it, Talking did out of my it, ass. Give me all my <laughs> stuff. There we... Look at that! Oh, yeah, look, at look at that! Look at that shit! What? If I oh, died, I'd have been I know, that would have been hilarious. I mean, it would have been horrible. It would have been... <laughs> oh, shut up, you. <laughs> There's the secret. Nice. That's cool. Of course, the funny part would have been like, if that actually did exist in the arcade, we were just too bad at it to find it. <laughs> Guy had a knife. Brought a knife yeah. to a gunfight. What is... And the funny part, He's that would have been the thing that would kill you, too. He's the knife guy from Bionic Commando. Oh, true, true. Stabby, stab. Look at it. I'll take care of you, he says. Oh, come on. You did get... No! <laughs> no! no! Whoa, he's, whoa, he's he walked walking through the bridge. Now. Right, pretty much. Walk through the bridge. I think he just started walking up to heaven. <laughs> he was killed. It's my in, time. Killed in real time. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I'll just I'll just walk myself up to heaven. Thanks. <laughs> God, I feel like the funny part. I feel like I've also played other games that have attempted to do this. Oh, here we go. I'm further ahead. This might be my time to shine. Maybe I'll beat the stage, man. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> all, all sorts of crazy things have happened over the years. You <laughs> yeah. can do anything you put your mind to, Pernell. Just think we about it. We just got through a global pandemic. You know, anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Come on. Okay. Young, whoa, why don't you catch me? You stay the hell back. I just survived a year and a half of homeschool with two kids on the spectrum. Anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Pearl beating stage one one. Yep. Except that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a life left, so maybe. I do wonder if there... I'm guessing all the secret rooms come from bombing the guys behind trenches, maybe. though. Ooh. Trend out. Barriers and foxholes. I'd have to get my Nintendo Power and find out. Oh, I miss Nintendo Power. If my mom didn't throw them all out. Funny enough, all most of mine are still at home. Oh, at nice. my old house. They're just sitting in my mom's closet. I mean, their condition is terrible. She kept them for a very long time. Constantly. I really can't blame her too much. Uh, I used to just read. I used to read and reread them all because it was like that was also the thing that I used to do. I don't think that's another thing I feel like as a kid didn't carry over to this time, even with the internet. What magazines? Well, not or, magazines. It's the culture of like couldn't afford games, but you were really in, interested in what was coming. Sure. So you would just get these magazine subscriptions, and then they would come in the mail, and you would just reread. Well, now, with the internet, mind yeah. you, you could say, go to an article, like on Kotaku or something, but... I feel like, I mean, like gaming for, subreddits have replaced that for me <laughs> that, <laughs> today, where I'm like, I'm going to read about these games I'm never going to play. Yeah, but our <laughs> subreddit would be people discussing them. So right, that, but that's, it's like that's articles like, on there, you know, like, here's this new thing that's happening. But like, uh, did would you say you go onto the subreddit and reread an article you already read just no. to get re-familiar with the thing you already saw? <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever done that. That's the culture I'm talking about. Like, you would re unless someone reposts it and I start reading it and I go, "Oh no, I read this already." Yeah, no, you're right. Oh my god, you stupid grenade! That's ah, worse. It takes up it's the arc is almost the entire screen. No, it's gonna go right over his head. One Boy. block too far. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying. I'm One just block too far. The problem is I'm determined to find another secret path. Yeah. I can imagine someone watching this episode and just going to the comment session and go, you guys suck. Can he beat no, one? One. I played this Commando is... like 15 times as a kid. I beat it backwards and forwards. Woo. You guys need oh, to be ashamed what? of yourselves. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but and artifice, yeah, we are pretty shit. However, <laughs> uh, we are getting uh, old, and it is late. 
<laughs> That's your excuse for everything. So, you're you know, getting I old. Got, I got an excuse. <laughs> in every pocket. <laughs> Ready to go. An excuse in every pocket and a pee for every pot. There's lag. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> There's it's laggy. Late. There's laggage. Laggage. The emulator's weird. That is true. Enemies disappearing when you don't want them to yeah, and sticking around when they don't. I don't know if that's the game or if that's F-C-E-U-M-M -M or whatever the emulator I have. M-O-O-M. That spells emulate. That's right. Oh, this freaking game. Oops. I still like this better than the arcade one, though. And I Turbo! Could, and I could even see myself attempting this at home later. I'm using an NES Max. I, that, for the record, that was the best control. And then, speaking of that... I don't know. That, that, that circle pad was a little weird. I played the hell out of that circle okay. control. But it was good for certain games. I'm that guy. I'm going to say it without the opportunities here. Nostalgia's great. Yeah. I get behind nostalgia. I'm, I'm a proponent of it's it. What, it's what we do. With that said, <laughs> stop getting nostalgic over the NES brick controller. That thing was terrible then, and it's terrible I, now. <laughs> Innovation-wise, yes, I'll yes. give it that. It was better the than the Atari jumpstick. Yes. But, um, but holding it was yeah. never enjoyable. Like, yeah. it was the thing you did because it was it, all the you had. The corners dug into your palms, and yeah, I'll give you that. But the moment I had access to a NES Max or a NES Advantage, they yes. never got replaced. They, they were the only things I would use when I had a choice. So, like, and it wasn't because they were just turbo controllers. They just right. felt better to hold. Sure. So, the, and the reason why I bring it up is because, like, you know, like, the Nintendo Switch is a thing. And yeah. Nintendo lets you, they sell retro NES and SNES controllers, and people yeah. are losing their crap to get them. Right. And I'm sitting there, I'm, the, I'm like the one guy in the room who's like, why are you buying that thing? Why well, would I you mean, work so hard for it? The SNES controller is nice. I, you know, we're using it right now. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, but like, I always like that. But, I will, but with those, what I'll typically say is that while they are decent controllers... They're rounded. The D-pad is still nice and, you know... But I genuinely... Crisp, well, I say that's a hard part. I, I, will, I will take that back a little bit. Because I was about to say that, that the dual... I feel like the dual... Sh that's you still, because you actually oh. got an extra life or something. But, like, the D-pad is that's better. That's what I get for being yes. so good. No, <laughs> oh, please. You care. You, you is terrible. Yeah, that's true. But, like, uh, the, I always feel like the dual shock. Ultimately, be, was the was the advancement from the SNES controller, but yeah. the problem is it should have kept the D-pad because the D-pad on here is way better than what PlayStation controllers have ever had, yes. even the newer models. Like their D-pads have never I been agree. good. The D, well, it's it's better than like a 360 D-pad. The 360 D-pad was just like ugh. A the the bowl of actually, bush. let me rephrase yeah. that. The elite controllers got it right. Yes. But you had to pay 150 stank ass dollars to get that elite pad. So screw it. Yeah. Um, and the Xbox One D pads are good. You know, they, mm -hmm. they, they've improved since then. But, but uh, the 360s was terrible. Yeah. yeah. It was terrible. It was rough hard. trying to play like, like the, you know, Mega Man 9, 10, or whatever. So <laughs> we've played the top two Commando and Viana Commando. So now we Sector Z. Sector Z. Section Z. Section Section Z, because that, <laughs> my nostalgia bug has been nipping at my heels for that okay. one for a while right. now. Have you ever played the arcade version? No. Okay. I used to, I only play, so, with a lot of these early, early NES games, I was lucky in that my uncle at the time was a high schooler with his first job. Ah. So, nice. that is the gold mine for game experience, because he was buying them for himself, and me being his asshole nephew <laughs> would harass and bug uh -huh. him to let him play, his, let me play with his games. Yep. I was and that kid, too. Since he was also a teenager trying to get girls, that meant that there was a lot of times where he wasn't home, which means I could sneak into his room and play his stuff. Nice. Which is how I got access to a lot of these games like Section Z yeah. and Contra and not Commando. He didn't have Commando. Um, but he had a lot of different like original NES games. That's how I got to play Trojan, which might come up later. Yeah. He had that game. And, but like I put a lot of his random stuff. and I was like, yeah, buddy. Let's see how crappy this is. Because I, I definitely, because I get yeah, our case specifically, because I feel, yeah. cause I already know like the NES game. I used to love NES, NES Sector Z. This is definitely one that came up on that uh, NES Works series because of how much they changed from the what arcade. What the frig? So you can, you can, there's one button to shoot, right? And, and then one there's to one turn. button to turn. But, oh, you, okay, even though the gun's lowered, you are still only spraying like ah, straight over. Okay. I was confused because he had this gun lowered. I was like, well, you can shoot diagonally? But it's just left and right. Right. 
Also, it's interesting that he fires grenades automatically. Yeah. I don't remember the original one doing that, but maybe my memory's off there, and I'll find out shortly. But then, when they brought it home, they almost made it almost like a, it's almost like a Metroidvania, like where you had to backtrack, and there was like, there's like a maze, right? Well, not so much half the backtrack. I feel like the any backtracking was not intentional. Like you oh. just took a bad, made a bad choice. Okay. Because I do looking at the top. I can but this already is just tell. a side-scrolling shooter. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. If I'm reading this right, that top just looks like you just go from left to right indefinitely until you get to the end. Right. Whereas the NES version, which we'll get to shortly, is actually stages, but it works kind of like how Darius did, where at the end of a level you get to choose where you're next to where you're going to go next. Right. Okay. And it was friggin' awesome because. Sometimes you'd end up going down like the harder route or the easier route. Sometimes you end up going backwards by a mistake. Okay. I can say that while this is, I want to do oh. it one more time, of course, yeah. if you're okay with it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with this, but even from what I remember of the original, of what I remember, what I haven't gone back to play it yet, I'm like that one was the NES one was just leaps and bounds. Yeah. Like it goes. It's I think a, that's definitely one you can point to where the uh, the home console version is better than the arcade version. Hundred percent. In fact, I'm noticing that with a lot of this kind of stuff. Like it's funny how. One thing that I remember a lot of things coming up with, like when we were, when we were growing, where people were like, you know, the heart is not arcade perfect, but it's close. Right. And you're like, man, I want Never an arcade gonna, perfect game. Right. But in Never going to get to the level, the quality level of the arcade version. Meanwhile, though, looking at these games, it feels like the arcade was almost always the inferior product. Right. In the grand scheme, it's like, okay, the home version is going to be even cooler. I can't wait. Yeah. And the graphics are, aren't going to be this good on an NES, but it might play better and it might. The music might be less grating. <laughs> the sound effects might be less. If anything, you I know. feel like the Oof. NES version. You should try. Yeah, I'll try. A bit. I feel like if anything, I feel like the NES game has better music. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. and gr- maybe even better graphics. Ah. <sighs> yeah, that's all, that's all this dying I was doing, <laughs> just screaming myself to death. That's the magic. All right, so that's the turnaround button. Oh boy! And it is literally sector A through section A through Z. Oh, you're just going from the, you're going through you the entire alphabet up there. Section Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Oh my god! This. Freaking... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a feeling. Like I don't know doing... if I'm uh, into this one personally. Oh. I want to go with side-scrolling your... shooters. I'm always like iffy on. Like I really liked art. One of the art types was at that pizza place for a while, and that was I liked that a lot. Um, and I liked R Type Three. Like I played Super R Type and R Type Three on the Super Nintendo back in the day, stuff like that. But Gradius, I never got into Gradius and Oh Gradius is my jam. You know those games. They're cool. that was my peanut butter and jelly. And I and I you know I can see why they're you know they're good I you know I like the riding games, but I don't know I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> like he's like this Sorry. game he's like he's like I just do Section not like Z, this freaking game. I'm just not into you. Ooh. I'm not sure. I wonder what that beat did. Beat. I guess it just gave you points because your power and bonus. speed never went up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm inclined to think you did not like this game. Uh, you know, one idea we had for an episode long ago was to play uh, Adventure of Lolo. Oh, but two screens. Well, but the both, problem. Both playing it. Yeah, both playing it at the same time. And then whoever, you know, when, when you finish a screen, you take a shot mm-hmm. or a sip of beer or something like that. At this age, and if we did if, a shot, we'd be dead. Oh, my God. If we did that today. Oh, no, no, no. But the beer we can still do. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, we totally could do the beer. We could have the beer. But uh, uh, you know, and then like whoever was going too fast would then start to slow down because then they'd be too drunk to continue solving Lolo puzzles, and then would see where we end up. The hiccup know, would be how would hook how it would up. that even end? Oh, it would be it would end gloriously. <laughs> it would end because I would because oh. honestly I feel like the competitive the yeah, competitive aspect would get me in it. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to tear you up. <laughs> I ain't fucking around with Lolo. All right, so it'll be like you know the hour of power, but with Lolo. Exactly. In other words, it'd be fun. Yeah. The hour of power, just people are just like, watch this stuff, drink. Like drink, that's not drink, a drink. game. That's just do a thing. Whereas this is like, okay, I'm being that's punished just getting for su- drunk with extra steps. I'm being punished for success. 
Okay, I got these buttons right here. So maybe someday. I don't know. I'd have to have some time off of work. <laughs> I think I'd need a day or two to recover. <clears throat> Today. Like, I, I've never been a huge drinker, but yeah, these days I really don't drink much at all. I'm already going to do this. I think that would be tough. Notice how there's no bomb. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's like, maybe they combine buttons for the emulator or something, but there's this. That was a weapon if I freaking caught it. The music's definitely better. And here you go, see this? So now you and it's like, choose the route you want to take. Oh, Beam up, yeah. now I'm in sector two. So, notice, sector, and that, mm. just caught this. So, yeah. one interesting difference, the game is called section Z. In the arcade, you're trying to get from section A to sector D. This, this game is like Sector hex? Z, but these are numbers. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go to Z anyway. This is Sector 2. Where does mm. the Sector Z come in? If you're going up Can numerically. you touch the ground without dying? Yep, you'll run. Ah, nice. Nice. All right, so, but in this one, there's not a turnaround button. There's just A and B, and... You fired and both B directions. B fires left, A fires right. That is right. Nice. I like that. This is a freaking better game. <laughs> Straight up. Not even up for right. debate. This is a better freaking game. And I still remember what I'm doing. I still remember okay. the game. I, I don't Except think I even heard about part. this game when I was a kid. I, this is not familiar to me at all until I watched the episode on it on you know that uh, on NES Works. And for the record, like, I definitely want to try this again. Like I'm I'm dying here, yeah. but I want to see if I can do better because like I guess I've beaten this game. Like I've actually played through the game as a kid to and the completed end. it to the end of it. So it's amazing that I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. What was the difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, you would continue from section two instead of section one, right? I guess that's what it is. I'm like, you can retry or you can continue. What's the difference? <laughs> Terminology. Continuing from where you left off. And, well, I mean, we're at the beginning anyway. A little help here, section Capcom. Ah, uh, Capcom. You had so many properties at one time. Yeah. They're coming. They're making a comeback. I feel like, what at least they? with Resident Evil, they've been they've been doing good. Yeah, right? milking that. And honestly, I haven't played eight yet making because I tell you to beat seven. Yeah, I I installed seven. I, I'm gonna try it again. Like I, I like I played the beginning of it and I was like, uh, I was well, that was weak. I got bumped away from whatever the hell those things are. I couldn't get into it at, at the time. <clears throat> My problem with that game is the fact that, uh, quite frankly. Ooh. I'm missing every goddamn thing. You can take more than one hit? Oh, yeah, those are energy. Those are oh, energy pellets. E. Oh, I see. Oh, nice. I'm going down this time because right. screw whatever the hell was killing me up there. Sure. Sector 3. Watch this is being worse. We got crap. I was close. I jokingly said we got crabs <laughs> and there are walkers. Yeah, they are. And also, I just noticed that you can't take more than one hit there. Yeah, what happened? Now you have 15 out of 20. Thank you, Turbo. Screw that. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. So projectiles, you can't take. You can take multiple. Direct collisions would kill people. Oh, through. I see. Okay. I'm using the turbo. And I'm not ashamed of it. As yeah, no, I am it. ashamed of it slightly. Look at it. Look how quick that's like. Like I said, I used to use the Game Genie as a kid all the time. Because NES games were hard. Yes, they were. Sometimes broken, you know. And I did use the NES Advantage, so I mean, technically, I used them as a kid too. Oh crap. I'm able to get through that. Get good. How about you shit the pie hole? <laughs> get that health. Alright. God, this is still a great game. This is pretty good. One that's killing me is I haven't gotten a new weapon yet. I know they exist, though. The music does eventually change, too. I do remember that. Just I don't remember what sector does it, but when it does. It's pretty good, though. Stay in the middle there. Yeah. Nice and soft. Step lane. Carve out a lane for yourself. Oh. You stab in the throat. I'm going to get to a part that the music changes, damn it. Okay. You'll see. Well, hell it. Also, I don't think I need to play this one because I feel like I am getting a feeling from it. Uh, of it. Of getting a feel for it by watching it. That's the words I'm looking for. There you go. Whew. Don't get killed. I got there. Ooh, 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 yeah. 
Alright. Let's go to sector seven. Five. Shit. See, here we go. That's what I was talking Oh, they do. I remember these Ooh. fuckers. Oh, warp. Oh. Interesting. There's seven. Is there like a map? Like you hit start or anything or select? Nope. But with wow, that said. That is hell, a hell of a pause uh, sound. I, think they, I don't think they stop. Oh, they do so. No, they don't. Ooh, some what the for Gubby? I don't remember those guys. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's all continued. I would have done it as a kid. Why do it? And why yeah. not? Try choose not to now. Or there was a way to speed Ooh. up my guy. Gradius style. It might be. Maybe there's an item for that. Ooh. I'll push select next time, see if maybe that does something. Whoa! What the? Whoa, you're getting sent back. Oh, you sent me back to the beginning of the game! Oh, damn. Wow, that is cold fucking blooded. Yeah. I don't remember that either. What's the point of continuing if it gets you, if it sends you back? I'm maybe sure it was, maybe it was like a it. high risk thing. Like, if yeah. you don't succeed, you're bone champ. <clears throat> There we S. go. Okay. S, S for speed. speed. There you go. I needed that shit too. Because going slow is for the birds when these bulls are flying. Mm -hmm. Give me that. All right, baby. Now you're in it. I'm in, the, I'm in it to win it. Ooh, there it is. Look at that ripper dipper. And I also know to go down because fuck the top. Yeah, I can use turbo and kill the robots. Gonna feel okay. I feel good. This is the first game we've played that where I'm like, you know, my old skills sort of carry over. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Still got it. Nice. Jumbalaya. It's a little rusty at first. You gotta <laughs> gotta shake off the rust. That's right. I'm hoping to get to the one of the parts where the music changes though, because I feel like that's almost like a need. I gotta I gotta see the music yeah. change. This is good. Yeah, we need some. Oh. I see. Now I think about it, though. I probably don't need to go any faster than yeah. this. You might have topped out. It's already at the point now where it's like it's a little shaky. Right. Too twitchy. Ooh. There How'd it is. How'd you do that? Select button. So the cursor at the top ah. seemed like it was moving on its own, and I just hit select, and I was like, here you go. New gun, Perny. Okay. See, that's what I was talking about. By the way, what's that? Look at the sector I'm on. You're now on one. Yeah, I took the wrong path and went backwards. Oh, I see. So there is the those routes mm -hmm. are scripted, and if you choose the wrong route, you will go backwards sometimes. Right. But it's not all bad because you I'm kind faster of have to map and I got it out, a better or gun. you just have to. You can is is it simple enough that you can remember the map in your head? No, when I was a kid, I I'm almost positive I actually drew it on paper. Okay, yeah. Because now I'm still going to go down. But oh, now yeah. Uh, it's but happening. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Sorry. I'm using turbo. Well, it's nice that they... Uh... Ooh, there you go. They Fudge. label the sec sections, you know, so that it makes it easy to map it out a little bit. I missed, my tr I missed the spread gun already. Oh. I missed the speed already. Ooh. Yeah. What is this dude that molasses doing? Molasses jets. Yeah, yeah I'm, getting, I'm getting pelted. Screw yes. you, robot face. All right. So last time I went down, and this took me to five, but then I went up, which took me to one or four. Then this took, and up, up took me to one. I'm not going to make right. that damn mistake again. Yeah, I need that. Yes. I wonder if the brain will be back. The brain is what gives you the new gun. Oh, okay. Nope, the brain is gone. Hmm. That sucks. Hook it up. Yeah, not this time, ass bucket. Down we go. What? Did you go down last time? Maybe I Maybe. did, and I'm old as <laughs> shit. Either way, fuck them. Yeah. Also, I'm really in trouble now because this is way too fast. This is like Twitch shooter Ooh, shit. Yeah. Look at that. Damn. 
But can I please pick up the thing I got hit twice to get? <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm sure the viewers is like, I love seeing him fight those two walking robots <laughs> over and over again. Let's do it again. It was so great. Like we did last summer. <clears throat> yeah. All right, all right. Outrun yep, that, you yep. piece of shit. All yes. right. Now, I'm going up. That way I never even have to have that conversation of it with an up or down. <laughs> How about I just don't even go there again? Stupid okay. area. No one loves it. Has no chicks. All right, here we go. Now, what's going on here? Oh, okay, this, yeah. is, where, this is where I went there the first time I had to continue. So this is where I want to be. Oof. I am not leaving this lane. I just got to dodge wherever bullets come out. Fuck it. I didn't dodge the bullets. <laughs> I did not. Dodge most of them. <laughs> All right. Red. Ooh. Strap killed me. What? Oh. I just wanted to know what would happen. And yeah. what would happen was I would die. <laughs> Bad zone. I want to hear the different music. I know there's different music. I'm like determined to get to one of those levels. Ass fool. God, Ouch. My, got my ass handed to me there. Okay, Zip. five. I know up went to seven. So let's go with Dano. Eight. Eight. Okay, it's a slow one, so this could be nice. Because I am all out! Oh! I think this is a boss or not come on with the second one. I know another one's coming if there isn't I'll be shocked okay I'm shocked I need energy pellets I need holes I love how that one didn't generate one watch these assholes do because mm -hmm. of course they will because I can't get to it ah I don't get hit again oh boy I need that at least I can move a little faster one more shot and I'm down and out. Do, 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 do. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, goddamn. New enemy when you got one health? Oh, that's just groovy. Yeah. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe you get a run through, then a continue. Yeah. And if you like fail, it. they kick you back. Well, it's funny because I think I didn't even run out of lives there. So. Yeah. It just said, screw you, fella. I wonder. Oh, oh, maybe that's what it is. No, it's mm -hmm. the it's the energy. That time I died you by energy laws, energy. and yeah. the energy laws is what kicks you back. I see. There are so many changes they made to this game that yeah. the other game didn't have. There wasn't even the energy component in the other game. It just kind of looks like the same game, but is completely different. I, I remember I I can't, I'm not even making it up though, and I say that this was a game that I loved as a kid. Like I played, I, it. I it was beat a good game. it, I mapped it out. I don't remember how many sections, but like I said, I can easily see myself going home tonight and playing more of it, like yeah. wanting to actually see if I could get better at it again and finish it. Well, look, at I that. played a lot of Metroid as a kid. I think this kind of has a similar vibe, even if it's not really a Metroidvania. But just the maze aspect of it. Choosing the right path every yeah. time. There we go. There we go. No, you don't. Whoa. Gotta love how the guns oh. just don't stop. Yep. Like, there's no they blow. Just fill up the screen. Good luck. <laughs> You're, You're gonna need this, sucker. You won't. <laughs> You're gonna die, kid. But I, but I don't wanna die. Tough toboggan. Mantis toboggan. Mantis toboggan. Straight, always sunny references, because I'm fun. Oh, that's right. I knew it sounded familiar. Let me be frank, or if you prefer, if I prefer, Mantis toboggan. I gotta watch it again. Like, I watched the first bunch of seasons, and then I just kind of never got back to it. I know the quality has stayed the same, right? Oh, consistently superb. Yeah. I'll go up and hope it doesn't screw me. 
Sector 7. Okay. Okay, because the below would have been Sector 8, which would have led to the freaking wavy line, the exploding orb jerks. So far, so good. I noticed keep spraying backwards and keep them from overtaking me. My third degree connection to that show was that Charlie's grandmother played bridge with my grandmother. Really? Yes. <laughs> Real life. That's some small world shit. Yep. You want to see some small world shit is, uh, oh, I'm going to have to look it up, but you know, there's that show, Mayor of Easttown. I don't know if you've heard of it. Mm -mm. Uh, it's, a, it's an HBO oh, show. Oh, look, double digits. Ooh, ooh, 11. Um, oh, I got my, uh, the money airplane map. Kind of, so, look at kind of bullshit enemy is this. Looks like something from, like a hallway from Mega Man. Yeah, but look what like, happens when you shoot him. What? Jesus. I, I totally absorbed some of those shots. I was like, I just want to get through. Boss! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. There's some music. Okay, this is cheap as shit. You know what? I think I just realized something. Let's try this. Nope, that's not it. Maybe you do have to shoot that. It's making a different noise. I think. Oh. What do you do to hurt him? These are not or not get hit until I get hit, of course. There, he did die. Good. I feel a little better about myself. I'm nice. making progress. Is that a new weapon? No, nah, it increased my energy cap. Oh, I see. 20 which means now. I can last longer before getting sling shot it back. So oh, and, just of course, look at this. And, and then I went backwards a sector. Ten. It's just the way it goes. Now, there was like there was level music that was different too. I'm positive of it. There's going to be a second set of them this time, I bet. Ooh. So, there's a show on HBO Max, or whatever, um, called Mayor of Easttown. Not Mayor, but M-A-R-E. Okay. Uh, that takes place around here. It takes place in Delaware County. And it's like, everyone's like drinking Wawa coffee, and it's like... It's oh, whole thing. it brings in all the troops? Yes. Because um, it was created and written by a guy who grew up in like Chester County and, and Delaware County. And my dad's cousin... Uh, now, now I'm gonna have to look at it again. Is uh, is named Mary Beth, and that's who the main character is named after. After because she used to babysit the guy who made this show that's now on HBO, and everybody's talking about it. Saturday Night Live did a sketch about it, <laughs> talking about Wawa hoagies, and I'm like, it's nuts. <laughs> so All that's this, why that's why like other my... like you know four four degrees of uh, separation from something famous. The closest thing I've got is that my, uh, I used to work with Aubrey Plaza's aunt. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that was like this. I was like, wait a minute. You're <laughs> In related. Delaware, that's right, yeah. It's like, you're related to Aubrey Plaza, aren't you? She's like, yeah. I'm like, I knew it! <laughs> Friggin' knew cool. it! You look like her! <laughs> hey, you even have a bit of an accent. You talk to someone. This is creepy. <laughs> That's she's weird. A, she's just a TV person. And of course, I was that late she's guy. She's a real like, person. I went backwards again. Oh, Jesus. I didn't put, and I was like, hey, can you put a good word for me? <laughs> <laughs> of course I had to. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice. I'm only a, you. I'm only one man. I'm just no, a man, No, I can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's what she said. Oh, I asked Can you put in a good word for me? No. No, not really. You can meet her your damn self. <laughs> Yeah, but like, I do like what's. Watch! If I go down again, I swear to God. Ouch. You! Six! You bastard! <laughs> At least he got a better gun. Maybe it's because I'm actually going down. Like, maybe they're, maybe they're associated with up and down. Oh, maybe. Yeah, this gun is the shit, though. Yeah. Whoa! They never did that before! Yeah, what was that? The gun shot Flew off the off wall. Of the, yeah. Woof. Do you like doing the game over again? Because if you do, well, Billy, <laughs> I got the game for you, piece of shit. This gun is making things a lot easier, though. 
Okay, these yeah, flipping seriously. guns. You're flipping off the, the ceiling and floor. I think it's because I beat that first boss. Yeah, maybe. I am not. No. I do not need to go any faster than this. And this is the gun that's making all the difference, by the way. I just want to point that out. Not having to use that stupid pea shooter anymore has been saving me. I didn't even intend to do that, so I hope this is a good choice. Okay, back to, back 11, up to 11. Which means I gotta deal with these assholes again, so I don't know how I feel about that yet. So they just bounce forever? Yep, until you collide with one. Oh, Jesus. So you gotta wait until a larger open space. Mm hmm. To give yourself more. Room to dodge. Yeah. Oof. Alright. But that's at least doable. that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that's doable. And I ain't gonna lie. I actually didn't think to do that until you said it, so... <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I contributed. <laughs> now, here's the question. Which question did I my go phone? last time? Up or down? I don't remember. Now... Okay. Please be right. Please be I right. I made my one contribution. Fuck, I'm in trouble. Oh, shit. But next time I'll go up. Up, yeah. You've been, you've been going down, down. And it's not been helping you out. Yeah, but the fact that like, you can actually go backwards... Which in turn impedes your progress because you still have to survive every return sector. It's a brute. But overall, I like this game. It's a good game. Like I, is it is definitely was, better than the arcade again. God, oh God, yes. And this was like well, this was one of the first NES games too. Yeah, it's early on. No, so, if I, I had I, known I, about this as a kid, I would have played. I would, would have been all over this. I'll say it was probably the second wave of games because the first wave of mm. games is when they still were like action series. And yeah, the black series. box with the, yeah. And then this is one of the first ones where it was like, like when like Mega Man, when Mega Man 1 came out and it was like the black border but it had Capcom mm -hmm. so you knew it was a Capcom game. Yep. Well, yeah, not all the uh, third parties jumped on right away because it wasn't a sure thing. Yeah, but when it became, when it was like, we want it, like, well, now you got to adhere to the Nintendo yeah. seal of quality. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got to pass the That's rigorous... probably also why they didn't jump in right away, because they're like, Jesus. It's funny, too, because oh, right. you, you compare, like, NES to, like, the Switch, you're just like, seal of quality? What seal of quality? Hand me a bag of money, and I ain't seen well, nothing. Well, there's plenty of NES games, too. Oh, no, no. Well, like, well seal of quality, I mean, just being across the board, not just Nintendo. Yes. Yeah. And now it's a scenario where it's just like, look, if you can get it on here, we'll take it. But the NES was never as bad as, like, the Atari was. God, Jesus! I'm going up this time. Which was their point. That's why they were, you know... Do, that's why they did what they did. Because the Atari was just a, a trash crap fire. Shoot. That, was, that was what triggered the, the, the crash, yep. right? Yep. People just putting terrible games on their systems, crashing and dying, losing my good gun. So now I'm as good as boned. Oh my god! <laughs> See, I bet if I go to my phone, boot up my phone and look, there's probably a map for this game still. Oh, on I'm there. sure there is. And I'm going to look when I die again because <laughs> we may be done with the game proper. Because I was going to say, there might be time to move on. But I'm still kind of like, maybe do one wanna... more comparison. That sounds good to Does me. Does that sound good? Oh, yeah. Maybe we can use this to like, get like, feedback from anybody that watches. Like, hey, I like what you guys did. Maybe talk a little bit more about some Gumby. Or, yeah, you know, gumby? some pizza, or <laughs> I don't know, whoever. Gumbo, I made some gumbo. Oh, God, gumbo. This week. Fucking bang. And, I, I, and I might might be the best batch of gumbo I've ever made. It was so good. You might have to share that recipe somewhere because, like, I had yeah. gumbo at, like, like, Nora Lee's at one point, which is a restaurant in uh, Old Newcastle. Yeah. And, uh, again, freaking swank oh, delicious, yeah. but there's, I like, a there's... Certain, there's a certain something to yes. it. That you can't quite recreate. Like, yeah, well, there, uh, there is a certain taste that you get from like, yeah, when they make it in a restaurant that I can't, I can't figure out what it is. Yeah. I can make some good tasting gumbo, but it's not. It's not. Maybe it's, maybe not, it's because that I'm not using okra. Louisiana. I don't know. Like they use okra in in authentic gumbo, but I use filet powder instead. I think you can use one or the other or both. I don't know. But anyway, I made it like I made a big thing of it and I ate two full bowls of it until I was like almost sick because it was so it was good. worth like, it oh God, I can't. I'm going to die but I it was worth it and, like, I can't because this is going to be a bad scene that's when you I know do. you made some delicious stuff yes. or bought some delicious stuff where you're just like you know I'm going to die right but this is worth it I think it's I'm worth it I'm going to die if I eat anymore but I might die if I don't 
<laughs> because it's I so don't... good. <laughs> what if I don't the same thing might occur? And that's why I gained uh, X amount of pounds during the, <laughs> <laughs> during the pandemic. I think I got lucky uh, with that regard with the pandemic. Yeah. Because I had, that was when I had, I had started my fitness regimen slightly a little bit before the pandemic kicked in. Yeah. So when it started, everyone was already kind of settling in and accepting their quarantine 15s and all. Uh-huh. But I had a panic attack. I was like, I can't go back. I just <laughs> lost like 50 pounds. Right. I right. can't scale back. So yeah. I went out, That's bought good. all this gym equipment, put it in my basement. It was like, I need to keep going. Yeah. Of course, didn't start out proper because not having that motivation to go to the gym and all, not being a, in my house, it wasn't effective. So like yeah. I did gain like a good 15 or so pounds. Yeah. But then I snapped. I was like, no, no, done. I started going for jogs and hikes. And I did use my That's equipment, good. but then when the facilities started opening back up, you had to wear a mask to be there. Right. And people were like, I don't trust them yet. I'm like, guess what? If something's going to kill me, let it be the gym. Fuck it. I'm doing it. <laughs> going in. All so right. I was in there with my mask on, putting it that oomph, and ended up burning off what I lost, what I um, put back on, and then right. some. Nice. So it's like, That's um, awesome. but the only reason I said that is because like, I'm almost positive. In fact, I'm very positive that if it didn't start... If I didn't start before, yeah, you never would. I would have never gone during for sure. I'd have been like, "Well, I'll just whatever." Right near the beginning of the pandemic, I had hit my high score on the on the uh, on the scale, so I did actually take off like ten, maybe fifteen over the pandemic. But it's been a slow struggle because I'm, you know. I'll tell you this though. I'll give you you one easy tip. Because I think it's actually maybe kind of near you. Because I was there as long as yeah, hikes, baby. Just go for look like yeah. wooded hikes. Like take the whole fam. Yeah. Like was it Ridley Creek? Yep. We already people already first know kind of where we're at. Cause we already named some local shit. Right. But like Ridley Creek is like not that far from you. It's like no, just it's, outside of media. Yeah. And uh, I pass pass through it sometimes on my way to work or on my way home from work. I went there two weeks ago beautiful place yeah. very open and they've had they have a variety of different types of trails you can go like it's like just powders paved ones yep. there's wooded ones and yeah we used to for... do that there's a paved like track almost that like has a big hill walks past like some like a creek and a lot of people walk on it for exercise and like it, you had to like fight to find parking but for a while me and jen were doing that once or twice a week that was helping out um but it was like you know, from here, it's like maybe 20 minutes to get out there. And what, once we had kids, it was just like. But you might have some stuff up garden, this way, but, too, that might be similar. Not yeah. quite the same place, but and, you know, similar you know, enough. Walk around the block. It's not, you know. That's what we're going to try and start doing. But I will say there's something about <laughs> no, Destin. The kids are home. I don't know. Well, walk around the block is definitely better than nothing. But I will yeah. say destinations help make you go harder. Like yeah. if you were like say you were at a big park, you start walking, you get into the park, you gotta eventually turn around, yeah. and then walk all the way back to your back car. To yep. Like you will naturally just do more because yeah. you're out and you're unfamiliar with the environment. Right, you're exploring the yeah yeah nature. It, yeah, <laughs> and also just the sounds of right. nature are so it's nice, and soothing. Yep. God, it arcs. Imagine there was, if, there, if you could put an arcade machine in the woods, <laughs> that would be perfection. So you'd have to walk a mile to get to? Yeah, like yes. imagine it's like this secret wooded <laughs> arcade that only certain people knew about. And when you get there, the guy greets you. He's like, welcome. I see you found Shangri-La. And he lets you in. And there's like vines growing along the walls. Mm-hmm. There's a bartender serving up Nintendo-themed beverages. And every game you can possibly want. Somehow getting electricity in the woods available to be used. Solar? Come on. That is yeah. true. Well, <laughs> yeah, true. But it's probably a secret. Yeah, true. <laughs> but like it would be like, but it was just like, this great setup. And it, it would just it would just complete the package. It's like I get yeah. the I get the outdoorsiness. I get the uh, <laughs> nature away from technology, but then I can walk towards technology. I right. can adventure. It still has to be there. It has to be. I, it'll, it'll save me. It's, right. It's just a little longer. But I get my fix and go home. Um, all right. So let's look at this list. For which, the, the, which one do we want to do? Um, my, my vote is Double Dragon. Okay. 
what, but if you want to do a different one, we can do a different one. My vote. Double There's Dragon. A lot of good ones on that. Double on the Dragon list. would be good from the retro perspective to complete the retro package we've done today. Yeah. But my, I kind of want to see Cotton. Okay. Or Contra. I yeah, you know, I played a little bit of Contra. I've tried the Contra arcade uh, game a couple times, and it's a Bionic Commando situation, basically, Three. where it's uh, yeah, not as good. It's kind of the same, but definitely not as good. And um, the NES version is like way better, um, in its very similar way. So, uh, I mean, we can do that if you want. Uh, Super C is also almost exactly the same. Super Contra in the arcade is like. Well, how about this? You should choose because I chose okay. I chose Section Z oh, okay. and Commando, and you chose Bonnie Commando, so you didn't get to choose a second game. Yeah, like we have like Mortal Kombat two, but they're you know they're, they're fairly identical. The same. Uh, graphics are going to be better in the arcade. That's about it. Uh, Double Dragon I didn't play in the arcade. Also, Cotton is almost exactly the same. Oh, it is. Yes. Especially since the home version I have is the Turbo Graphics CD. Uh, so the only version. difference there would be the music. The music which, is, well, the is better. The record is fantastic. Yes, the music is better on the home version, and uh, I feel like it controls slightly better. But I don't know. So what uh, are we gonna do? Uh, Your dragon? call. All right, we'll do double dragon. The double dragons. Dig dug. That was another game. I would like to see get revived with tighter controls. Yeah, I love Dig maybe Dug some was more depth shit. to it because it is kind of like it starts to be the same thing over and over. But... Well, there was the sequel on the NES Dig Dug Two, and yeah. it was about like islands or something. Yeah, I remember that. But I don't know if you. I remember stuff it not or... being great. I don't know. I can totally see that being the case too. Well, let's see. Especially, I think this is a two-player one because in the arcade yeah. you could be Billy and Jimmy. Be. Which is funny because I feel like in the NES version Jimmy was the villain. Because then in Double Wasn't Dragon that... to the Revenge they teamed up to go after Saint Mary like together. A third brother or something, wasn't there or something? Mm. It no. was the double dragons were Billy and Jimmy. Billy was fighting Jimmy. Okay. But do I have one or two? I should have you should have one. Okay. Like I don't know what the arcade story was. Like who you're saying I know it's the Shadow Warrior or the or Shadow not even Shadow like fucking name. But I, and, yeah. at the, and of course they fight each other to determine who gets to keep her. Right. But yeah, I remember uh, that. But the home version, it was only a one-player game, which we'll get to, of, of course, when we play it properly. Is there a friendly fire? Is there? Oh, there's, punch to you? there's totally friendly fire. Let's find out. No, I don't want to find out. <laughs> Let's find out. You leave me alone, you psycho. No, I don't think there is. Oh, okay. I was incorrect. In that case, I think. Oh, nope. oh no, nope, yes, sir. You just had to <laughs> just find out, did you? you have yes, my I had to for find it. out. You could have taken my word for it, but <laughs> nope. no. I think that was an option at, uh, on the home version, right? Like you can choose game A or game B. But a home, not a home version was one player. Like you could do alternating oh, player one. one and player two. Yes, oh, but right. it was a one player game. Because I'm like I'm almost positive. I think I played the, the second home version, one more on the, uh, the NES than the first one. I'll have to look up the story later, but I'm almost positive the home version. You were going, you were fighting, you were saving her from your brother. Oh, maybe that makes more sense. Like he was Whoa! the leader of the gang. He just busted through that wall. Yeah. Oh, he, a I bobo. Was, I was hoping he'd climb the dorm or whatever his name is. Oh yeah, he does. He he breaks from the wall in the in the home. Oh my, are you fucking kidding I don't me? I fell that off at all. the thing. Yeah, there's a section in that game where he breaks through the wall. Because, like, one of the one of the secret routes in, the, in, I think it's the woods, you have to go into the hole he creates. Oh, nice. And if you don't, you'll keep looping. Oh, you know what else I have that we can check out? Uh, yes, I have Double Dragon for Neo Geo. That exists? It does. And it is a one-on-one, um, -on -one, like, fighting game. Huh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I just, I just had to dash. Yeah. And apparently as a headbutt. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ugh. I don't know when I'd want to do it. Maybe if I was doing like a punch I, try, I just tried to headbutt that head. guy and it didn't work out well. It might be a thing where like you punch Ooh. him a few times and while he's stunned, you finish him with a headbutt. Got some slowdown. I don't know if it's the emulator. It's probably the arcade. <laughs> or if it's the, the actual arcade game slowing down. I could totally oh. see it being. Oh, Is this oh. a boss? Yeah, he's God got a, 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 a majestic beard he's got, too. Yeah, he does. A little salt and pepper. 
<laughs> the gang life. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, damn, if you're living long enough to have a salt and pepper beard in a gang, I think you'd be pretty successful. There you go, oh, Rupert. Oh. Now I got the behine coming near my ass. Oh. oh, the speed went back up. Pick it up! Because of the weapon, that's how you beat him. Without the weapon, he, he's going he's gonna to backdrop your ass. Why would he die? He took multiple hits with a metal bat. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm a badass. There he goes. Bonus point. Bonus point. 3,000. Oh, I just keeps going to the right. Dude. Wow. Well, blow up? Well, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, it's dynamite. There it is. I can straight up tell you. The, without even, just a spoiler, the NES OSC is way better. Yeah. Because I recognize this track from the NES game, and it's way better on there. Oh, yeah. I think I'm more familiar with the uh, Double Dragon Neon <laughs> version of this song. God, that game is so good. Yeah, we need to play that again. How do you get... Uh, I guess that'll do it, won't it? Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, that dude's being a real dackass. Look at that bat. Uh, Oh, there's a jump button. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, A button. Oh, he's gonna pick that shit up. Uh, and there's a jump. Oh, there's a pit. There we go. You know, it'd be nice if you let me freaking punch your ah, ass. Is that the kick him? Is it? That's the problem. Oh, I'm holding. You punch him. Well, I'm not going to yeah, punch yeah, him at yeah. the edge of the damn cliff. Jump up the top of the cliff and punch him. In the nards. Wolfman's got him. Yeah, he does. Ooh, there it is. Uh, I was so excited, I just jumped off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he just slugged me right in the back of the damn head. Fine. There down. you go. Eat it. Yeah. Chump change. Blech. That's right, right in the mean bean machine. Interesting, you can't jump upwards, you can only jump left to right. Yep. Ooh, conveyor belt. Know what that means. Danger, danger. What the <laughs> fuck just happened there? <laughs> I fell, I guess. That was, I was a... trying to get on one of the boxes, it didn't really work out. Didn't work as planned. Ooh. Not even close. Back to the butt. Sorry. Oh my god, you slow down. Boop, there she goes. Did she actually go off the <laughs> <She> side? <did>. <laughs> Sucker, Linda. Right, now I'm getting some action going here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that whip action. Look at that. Oof. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe yeah, this slow motion is a stylistic choice on that. Maybe. Of Technos or whatever. That's the other yeah, thing. Was, was this version Technos though? Yeah, I think so. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, maybe it's not the emulator because the music seems to be keeping up. It seems to be the same pace. There you go. There you go. Yeah! Guessing the boss is going to the door, too. Someone's coming up. I do like that. I just noticed the lights are yeah. there. I see lights there saying someone's coming up the elevator. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Hmm... Oh, there's someone coming up uh, oh, platform shoot. over there. Oh, the boss. It's Bimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Bimmy. Jimmy and Bimmy. He does look like you. He's a dragon brother with green clothes. Ooh. Triple dragon. I think he stole my life. Oh, no, I just put continue. it in a new quarter. Oh, 
<laughs> got in the way. That's your own damn yes, fault. Yes, it is. Hmm. Hey, would you die already? <laughs> Fake ass brother. Ooh. What? Yeah. Stay dead, you sack of shit. Bonus point! <laughs> Singular. <laughs> and strike. Got that Batusi suffer. Oh. It just can it just keeps going. Like it doesn't even Yeah. I think we're gonna just gonna have to call it at some point. I will say you're say good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's bad. It's not bad. You know, it's... It's fairly straightforward. It but, feels but, like Double Dragon. But admittedly, we know what we're what getting we're, into in the yes. next with the NES game, which is why I was like, you know... Well, why don't we, uh, why don't we try the uh, the Neo Geo game, then? Since that's a little bit, le you know, lesser known. But what, now I'm curious about what, what that would be, though. Like, Well, let's check it out. All right. That'd be fine. For those who don't know, in the off chance they don't know, though, the home version of NES Double Dragon, the things that were different about that was, again, I'm almost positive your brother you was the villain. boot it up real quick? Yes. Let's boot it up real quick and take a look. Let's take, take a, a look. look. Oh, same thought process. Jinx. Damn it. <laughs> take a look. Yeah, man, it makes it crazy, buddy. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, D. D for double. <laughs> the uh, double Did D. I pass it? Yeah. All right, then. Well, we're going to play the Neo Geo one. Sounds good I to guess. me. I guess. Sorry about that. No biggie. So, the NES Double Dragon, it was single player instead of two player. I think you could do, like, alternating players, mind you. Um, the yeah. levels were completely different. Like, they weren't seamless. Yeah, no, uh, definitely not. The second I level didn't that... have the fence yeah. and all, but the third level was a forest, uh, and it was a maze level. Like you I remember, like, the elevator or, like, the ladder or you know, something. I don't know. Like, the, 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 you might remember, oh, there was ladders for sure, but yeah. you might be, the thing that's most memorable is, like, that fence and, yeah. the, and the construction site beams. Yes. So, in Technos Japan, um, but, like, Actually, buy the Double Dragon Kunio Kun collection too. That could be a good way for you to is try. Is that it. from the movie? The Double Dragon movie? That was like. This is the Double Dragon movie. Is it? Yes. Cause they they did make one, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that was the guy from. Uh, Terminator that was that 2, was live right? action footage. Yeah. Wow. Like there was a Double Dragon movie, and it was a Double Dragon cartoon. Oh. So, All these I mean, characters. I wonder who these people even are. I think this is a fighter. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a one-on-one -on -one fighter. Um, <sighs> Bear drag is all right. Double the dragon. <laughs> Double the fun. Double your dragons. Double your fun. Press that start button, son of a bun. Oh, you know Neo Geo. They always we don't know. tell you how to. Billy. Billy and Jimmy. Dalton. There's a Bobo. Becca. So almost none of these characters. Kung Fu. Oh, Mary is a character you can Amen. use. Oh. Burnoff. So Bobo Dalton. and the brothers and Marion are the only recognizable Whoops. ones. Well, Rebecca and Marion, here we go. Didn't see that <laughs> one coming. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. That's yeah. Did you actually counter each other? It's neat. All right, bumpers don't seem to do anything. Ooh. Oh, I'm dizzy. Whoa. It's got a little bit of the, like, the Samurai Showdown zoom out kind of thing. That's cool. Oh. Right in the, right in the nutsack. Ouch. Which is now Whoa. on your face. Yeah, yeah. Win. That's right. That's and of cool course, you gotta do the whole Yatta! Yeah, sure. Whoa. You don't know how you did that either, right? Nope. Come drop your A button, and that did something. So, like, I'm doing, like, Ooh. what seems like a good 
What would be a move a combo for? Oh, mm. oh, you're learning your moves. This is bad. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm still no good at fighting games. Well, if you if you basically if you have supers coming off, you don't have to be good. You just have to do moves that I can't predict. I ah, guess. See, hers is like, I'm kick your ass. You tear! <laughs> this one, my character's got to go. Hmm. They told me I couldn't be a double dragon. I told them they were wrong. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> they kicked my ass. <laughs> so, there you go. Whoop. Whoa, I don't know how I did that either. <laughs> Oh shit! You remember how to do it? <laughs> it's a it's a Hadouken. It's just you know. Ooh. Gotta stay in there, then you gonna keep oh. a Duke and get you that gut. Right, go! <laughs> <laughs> like, I have no qualms about spamming just the one thing. Like you know, I always played as E Honda. Losing is like, hard to live with. <laughs> ah. So what was I do? Down up. Hey, I My friend. Memory. <laughs> oh, I'm the new challenger. Here we go. Down, up, and two oh, buttons. Oh yeah, look at that. Down, up, one button. Back or forward, back, and a button. So I have to like quarter circle. Down. And I actually can't change characters. This is definitely this, this is definitely oh, arcade yeah. rules here. Yep. Ababo. Ababo. Memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, that's that's fair. <laughs> that was just a terrible spike move. <laughs> Ooh. He hits like a truck. Yeah, he does. But he's slow-ish. Ooh. Oh. That what? looks painful. <laughs> Great. <laughs> just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what is wrong with this? <laughs> that just looks terrible. His whole head. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, the backgrounds are cool. Oh shit! I swear his thing he hits like a goddamn tank. Whoa, what was okay, that? that was cheap as balls. He hits the ground and hit and me from across hits the you screen. Wherever you are. Bobo's a cheap bastard. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> You're like, I'm glad I picked <laughs> No him. kidding, I picked the right one. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk. Hey babe, to be with me, you've gotta be worthy. <laughs> oh, oh, Billy's gonna get him. I think you have to put a quarter in. Oh, they actually have to stats. challenge it. Oh, really? I'll try a different character. I'll do Amon. Amon. Ababo. Amon. Fighting on top of a plane. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> That is some cheap shit! <laughs> he just hits the ground! <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> what a cheap piece of shit! He's been working out his eyelid muscles. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad! Oh, wow. There's not even a tell. He just did it. Oh, I'm so glad I forgot to download the NES version. <laughs> so we can play this nonsense. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fuck out of Bobo. <laughs> I'm real bad at fighting games for now. Never played them in my life. Don't even know what I'm talking about here. Just, just hitting some buttons. Well, no I picked it a clearly OP character. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> Bobo. Ugh. See how strong I, I see how I cheap do. You, I see how cheap your ass is. <laughs> A no no. Uh, amazing. 
<laughs> well, pick that guy. He's he's got to be strong too, Who, right? Dude? Whatever the guy with the mask. Bruno. Bluto. They said Bluno, and it's written as Bruno. All right, we got the obligatory metal track nice. or rock metal track. Ooh, there it is. Is he supposed to be Karnov? No, he's Burnov. Oh, Did well, you see the name? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Butt bop. Oof. Get a burn off. Girl. <laughs> this thing say Bluto. I, I think it's the accent. I don't know. Well, if I win again, we'll hear it. Yep. You're like, Ooh. yeah, you won't win we'll again. Of course, you did that damn move again. Bullshit. And the thing is, like, it chipped through me. I was in the middle of attack. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> this train don't stop oh. for nobody. <laughs> Whoa. Curtain and So, all right. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Get up, a bobo. Oh my god, he, here we go. Yeah, listen for it. Bluto wins. wins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Well, damn. <laughs> die, die, burp. <laughs> Clearly, some. Special extra high class writing there. Yeah, yeah. Is Eddie one of the the like? He might be one of the, like the enemies or something. Yeah. Because I don't recognize him, but he seems like one of those guys from the first stage. Any, any. Oh, I didn't look to see what the moves were. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hey, he's got a double jump. Do you have a double jump? If he does, I don't know how the hell he got off the ground. <laughs> he's Blue No. Shit, shit, shit. Ooh. Get him, Blue No. Shit, shit, shit. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Blue No. <laughs> This accent is hilarious. Ooh. Oh, damn, we got days and everything. And I did nothing to take advantage of it. <laughs> now I'm over here. And now I'm kicking the balls. What? I don't know what to say. Just rubbing it up. <laughs> Got a little fire in my belly over here. <laughs> You're crying somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Want to do one more round? or I uh... can do one more okay. round. Just so we hear how they pronounce another character's yeah. name. Bulbin! Bulbin! That's just like Bulbin! <laughs> I like the music in the game, though. Yeah. There's a lot to like about it. I mean, the balance isn't there, but... <laughs> Oof. Although, maybe it is, and I'm just not good enough to know. Whoa, oh, I was doing something. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, it definitely just sounds like blue no. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm gonna have to in editing try and like turn it up and see exactly what she's saying, but not very close to Burnov. She does good for all the other stuff though. For oh, the most part. My man is barrel. Alright, so charge charge move. 
Like now I'm charged up to do my charge move. <laughs> what? Did you what? do that? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! Oh! Yes. That hit like a truck. <laughs> this, is stand, this is just five levels of hilarity. Oh. Yeah, I think I made a jet ski appear. Ooh. There it goes again. I think that was just like, no, nah, I think it's an animation for the yeah, stage, maybe, but it's still yeah. fucking hilarious. What's killing me is like, I had that. I did. Whoa. Wow. That was a special burp. Did you in the dweeb? <laughs> Something. Did you be the dweeb? You must have a grudge against your parents. <laughs> wow. That's just heavy. Jimmy. Jimmy. At least that's like that's probably the closest to an accurate statement I've yep. heard yet. <laughs> Damn, Budo. Fuck you. Let's go. Budo don't give a shit. Wow. Oh, Budo, no! Don't let him kill you, Budo! <laughs> At least he was polite and waited for you to get it back up. Damn, Jimmy. Damn, boy. So is this based on, like... This has to be based on the movie. The movie or an anime or something? Definitely, or? The, mo definitely the movie. Okay. I mean, didn't the intro have an actual... Yeah, had, it had a had clip of the movie. Yeah. yeah. With what's-his-name from Terminator 2, the, the T-1000 guy. Can't remember his name. Probably one of the more hilarious. It's it's pretty great. Did you aim to me? All right, we could probably cap here. Right. Bad break, kid. Get your face, <laughs> get out, your of face here. out of here. Some of the better, some of the best <laughs> in, in battle like statements I've seen too. All right, well that was definitely worth playing. Your parents must be really, you must really hate your parents. <laughs> Now, does that count as an arcade game or as a home game because it's Neo Geo? I think, I, I think I, it's technically both. I feel like Neo I think no, Geo... Ar no, arcade, arcade, yeah. because Neo, Geo, like Neo Geo was Geo meant Geo to be... Is more arcade than home. Because the arcade hardware, just it's the literal yeah. arcade hardware right. in a in home house. console. And nobody had that. And by the time <laughs> I started meeting people that did, I'm like, you were some rich bastards. Right. Because even, exactly. even having it as an adult, I feel like these guys are rich. Like, yeah. I have a friend... Who owns like every Neo Geo game, and it, it blows my mind. Like I don't know how you can afford to say, "Oh, oh yeah, you're a coder." <laughs> That'll yeah, do it. Yeah. That'll yeah. do it. Yep. But Jesus. Yeah. The uh, I think I remember hearing as a kid, uh, like someone at school's uncle had one, and that's the only person. How could he afford it? Well, he worked for Nintendo. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the uncle that worked for Nintendo. Um. So I think. Uh, a lot of the ones that we played were definitely better uh, in you know in the home version. Oh no, without a than, freaking doubt. Yeah, there wasn't a maybe single was one whose arcade version was better. Right. Um, maybe it was the era that we were playing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like I remember back in the day there was a lot of games where you played the home version and it was like, oh. Well, that was that, that was around sucks. the time like like you know, like Street Fighter Two was like probably the first example I could think of where the home version wasn't. Well, as you know, no. The Super home version of Street Fighter 2 was pretty arcade perfect. Yeah. So maybe it was Mortal Kombat then because of the blood issue. Yeah, for the Super Nintendo one. Final Fight 1 had issues because it wasn't, it didn't have it was Guy. One player. Wasn't one it? player, yeah. you didn't have Guy, which was, I still understand why they did that. Uh, I don't think it was, I personally doubt it was system limitations. That's what they maybe say, it was. but it might have been rushed or something. Who knows? I think it had to be, it had to be something like that. Yeah. Like, I can't, I mean, there's been, like, Final Fight 2 and 3 later came, and yeah. they could do it. Yep. Maybe, I, I mean, maybe, maybe they were they programmed for home. Yeah, yeah, real quick to try and, I don't know, try and get it out for, for the holidays or something. Well, if anyone's listening you know to this episode, and they're like, well, this game was clearly better than the arcade than at home. Let us know, because we're not gurus yeah. or seers. We're looking for those games, too. I want to play Curious. 
you know, like I, like I said, I remember being disappointed by arcade conversions, like arcade ports to home consoles. But we just played a bunch of games that were really, they were a lot better. Oh, you know? yeah. So I, maybe at some point we should do an episode about... I bet Sector Z would have been great if I didn't screw up like five times going through the same damn section. Right, but that was definitely already a better game. Oh, yes. Um, we need to see some games that were better in the arcade <laughs> than at home. Just to laugh at the home versions. Yeah, pretty much. At some point, but... Uh, and just to make sure that our memories aren't just completely off about right. there being yeah. better home arcade yeah. versions than home versions. Yep. Uh, but, all right, I think that was pretty good. I think we got through... Not got even through four games. Not even half the list, but that's okay, because we had we wanted to get some variety. We got Bionic Commando, Commando, Section Z. And Double, Double Dragon. Dragon. Uh, kind of, but we didn't have the NES version. Could have done Contra, could have done Cotton, Mortal Kombat, R-Type, and R Raiden. And there may be some other games that come up later, Raiden, too. But, yeah, maybe we'll do another one at some point. Um... We do some shoot 'em ups at some Oh, point. I'm all about the shmuppet. Yeah. And some competitive shit because we need trash talking and yeah. I want to talk yeah, trash. Definitely. It's become my addiction. And you know, we, we talked about one time years ago. <laughs> now that it's been years ago, we had talked about maybe doing an episode of just like real weird arcade games that we've never heard. Like Ninja Baseball Batman. Right. Which it which I played a little bit of and it's great. It is a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, the little Super Nintendo doesn't uh, isn't powerful enough to really little, run it. The little Super NES that couldn't. Yes. <laughs> In this case, it couldn't. But for a lot of things, it can. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's pretty great. But, um, yeah, I think that was, uh, that was, that was a good uh, cross-section of late 80s, early 90s. Uh, arcade to home. And also just getting back in the swing yeah, of things in general, too. Yeah, true been a while oh yeah <laughs> it's been a while since we played and uh i promise i won't uh let another two years go by before i edit this together into an episode fingers uh, crossed a couple weeks but, you know, <laughs> uh, sorry about that you know hey it no, is what it is. no worries the important part is it will happen yes um and we'll get some more uh some more guests on that would be you nice know? actually get some more people maybe do it upstairs and set it down here because there's not room for more people the way we're filming it now but we'll figure that out we have to we'll just blame it on the everything we're having to work from home because of covid yeah. situation yeah this is my office right behind me there just uh where i <laughs> do my actual work from home work uh and just kind of move a couple of things around and here we go um so yeah uh i don't know you got anything else Oh no, I'm pretty <laughs> solid. I mean, I'm just, I was just happy to get out, and play some games again, yeah. chat, talk shop. Yeah. Not so much time. about the getting my ass beat part, but, yeah, well, but at the same time, I'm sure you, I'm sure you hate your parents right now. <laughs> so I no, got I'm, my, I got I'm my wins in the. My parents are pretty cool. Burnout was wrong. <laughs> it was wrong. I, you know. I'm sorry, Bluno. Yeah, Bluno. Bluno. They called him Bluno. <laughs> Jesus. They, they got the guy. They got the they guy in the best. voice booth. That was like, good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your check. Yeah, no, that sounds good. No question. Not your check. Here's your coupon for one free takoyaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. get back to doing whatever else you do for for our company when we just grabbed you and threw you in the, uh, <laughs> in the, the sales voice booth. booth. Yeah, stick your, your face in this microphone. And say <laughs> some stuff. Um. Yeah. So uh, next time we'll do something else. We also have that. Uh, uh, Rhythm Doctor game. Oh yeah, would make for a good episode. That'd be fun um, to try. Which apparently was out on Switch three years ago. I'd never heard of it. Oh, it's already it was, on the Switch. Yeah, apparently. I have to look um, it up. I did not know. I saw. I, I saw it on sale on Steam yesterday. I'm like, this would make a great episode. This looks like a lot of fun. So I grabbed it on Steam. We'll have to. It's got. It's got two player and. It will happen. Looks like it'll be fun. It so shall. maybe that'll be the next one. I want. Rhythm Doctor. Yeah. Rhythm Doctor Blues. That's about all I got. I'm running out of steam <laughs> myself. Well, then on that note, then, that you've been watching Pernell and Matt play games. My name is Pernell. And I've been Matt and this whole time. <laughs> not uh, even once Believe it or chain, not. Except for that one time where you were Rebecca. Yeah. So uh, here's to uh, 2021 being uh, back to some kind of semblance of normalcy and something. I don't know. 
It'll happen. I don't, even know, I don't even know, man. It'll happen. We'll make it happen. I hope it goes back to normal, but I hope I can keep working from home. <laughs> there you <laughs> Let's go. Let's just say that. All right. Uh, catch you guys next time. Later. Later.